All right, we are live. Hello, everybody. What is going on? Welcome back to another stream, another Tuesday, so another day of spotlights. So far, we have had France, we have had Australia and New Zealand, and today we are taking a trip to Spain with the Galaxy Opal Juan Carlos Navarro, who's coming in looking absolutely ridiculous. We've also got flash cards being Marc Gasol, who is an Amethyst card, and we have got a Ruby Juan Hernan Gomez. And then if we come over to the spotlights, we have got somewhere Jose Calderon, who is obviously an Evo card. And then the exchange, we have got a Ricky Rubio card. Welcome to the stream, boys. How are we all doing today? Let me go ahead and tweet out that we are live. And then we've already got the stats. We've already had the stats for like an hour and a half. I don't know who woke up at 2K this morning, but they were like, you know what? We're going to get these cards on early, which I'm fine with. Not, not too fast about that. Finding out the cards earlier is not a bad thing. We're going to look at all the games, or look at all the cards, and then we're going to come out here, we're going to go into a game of Unlimited, because we need to score 10 with a Rockets player. And of course, for Pink Diamond, D'Angelo Russell, we need to play four games of Unlim, and we need to play three more games of Triple Threat Online. So we'll try our best to get through most of those in this stream. Welcome, everybody. How are we all doing? Well, let me go ahead and bring you guys over to the screen so we can see what's going on today. Like I said, I've already checked out um, the Juan Carlos, and he's looking very, very good. He's looking very, very good. Basically, a free Opal John Havlicek. Like, that, that's the level we're at. So let me bring you guys over here. And here we go. Jose Calderon, Juan Hernan Gomez, Marc Gasol, Ricky Rubio, and Juan Carlos. So going straight from an Amethyst to an Opal, like no diamonds and no pink diamonds in these packs, that's interesting. Uh, that was very interesting. Javon was good. Chris Morgan, welcome to the stream, boys. How are we all doing today? So these are going to be most likely in Flash Super Packs, which sucks. It means it'll be VC only, naturally, uh, and it means we will not be opening up any packs today. We usually like to, but hey, man, when they're VC only, miss me with that, man. Miss me with that. So the spotlights this season, so far we've got TLC. Aaron Baines, and now we've got Jose Calderon, again a two-level Evo. First one takes him from 39 and, no, and 0 to 37 and 4, and then the second Evo takes him to 40 and 11. So when he is fully Evoed up, Jose Calderon comes in with 75 driving dunk, 87 driving laps. Still not the best at driving. Uh, obviously really good speed, really good defense, great passing obviously. He's got clamps, he does not have Intimidator, and of course the thing to know with Evo cards, you cannot put badges on them. The badges that 2k give here, that's your lot. You can't put any more on them after that, so it's not ideal. Jesse, what's good? Good morning to you. How are we doing? Uh, he does have Hoff range though, he does have Hoff Steady, which straight away puts me off using this card. I don't really want that, and... This, this is not a card that I'm going to do. We'll do the challenge because, you know, he'll have XP to his name. It'll be just one game, so that'll be really nice and easy. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's anything really to say about that Jose Calderon card. Next up, we've got another exchange, of course. In the last two weeks, boys, we have had Pink Diamond Evan Fournier, Pink Diamond Steven Adams last week, and then this week, we've got Pink Diamond Ricky Rubio. So... An 88 three ball and gold range on Rubio, because why not? 80 driving dunk, because why not? Hoff Clams, God, it's, it's, it's not bad. But that release is not not pretty. Ben Wallace release, Bill Walton release. That's not, that's not a good release. That's, that's not, a, not a friendly release uh, right about there for that Ricky Rubio card. So that's not a card I'm going to put. Again, if they follow the last two weeks um, schedule or how they've been doing it, it will be a Marc Gasol Amethyst and a Ruby Juan Hernan Gomez who are going to be required to then lock into the exchange for Ricky Rubio. Now, obviously, if you open up Super Packs, you've got a chance of pulling them or they will put them straight onto TTO uh, online boards. So, triple the online grinds for Juan Hernan Gomez and Marc Gasol to lock in for a Ricky Rubio. <laughs> no, I can't even get it out without laughing. No, that is not something that I will be doing. But let's have a look at one Hernan Gomez. So 69610, is he going to be good for limited or anything like that? Is he going to be good for the Lim Lim? Not a single, not a single finishing badge on this card. That's kind of rough. Um, but good shooting, decent speed, decent defense, 
decent finishing, apart from no badges. Uh, he does have range, he does have Clamps, Rebound Chaser. Quick first step, it's not bad. No Rudy Fernandez, big L, I agree, man. A pink number with Rudy would have been fantastic. Would have been so good, but not to be. Elisha, welcome back to another stream, and Pulp, no news yet, my friend. Nothing, nothing. What's this guy got as his release? He's got Ray Allen's release. Eh. It'll be okay. You just don't ever drive for the rim with him because he's not going to make anything. I think we've got better Ruby cards out there. Like, we'd rather have this card or, like, a Jonathan Isaac who's out there. I think it'd probably still take Jonathan Isaac. And then we've got Amethyst Marc Gasol. I called Marc Gasol being in Spain packs, but I did actually think he was going to be the headliner of the set. I thought he would be the Galaxy Opal car, but they've done him... I'm a little bit dirty and only going in with the Amethyst card. And obviously he's already got a pink diamond card. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's not too dissimilar, boys, is it? It's not too dissimilar. One of them being an Amethyst, one of them being a pink diamond. They've got exactly the same speed, exactly the same passing. Defense, uh, if you don't look at this, which is defensive consistency, which is whatever, very, very similar. Post game, if you take away the post game because nobody goes in the post, let's be real, the only difference is a plus eight. Shot IQ, completely irrelevant. Offensive consistency as well, pretty irrelevant. Plus four, mid and three. That's mad. That's mad. But of course, the badges are very much different. So the pink diamond one is, as you might expect, to come in with a lot more. Hall of Fame badges, but they've got the same base badges. Like there's there's no reason why you'd go for the pink diamond. Uh, Perpix, absolutely not, and you will be banned. So see you later. Um, Zoe, what's good? Welcome to the stream. And Javon, yeah, Opal Mitchell, very nice. I'm looking forward to getting him today. Splash, Shua, welcome, boys. All right, so Hernan Gomez, not really too much to write home about. Mark Gasol, not crazy, but this card... This is where it's about to get crazy, boys. And this is where it's about to get crazy. So Juan Carlos Navarro. Hot zones absolutely everywhere. 95-3, 98 driving dunk, 92 perimeter defense, 97 speed and acceleration. Hoff range, flexible, dead eye. Hoff dimer, downhill, quick first step. Hoff clamps, intimidator, heart crusher. Hoff contact finisher, Hoff showtime. That's a really, really good card. Let's go ahead and compare him to John Wall. So John Wall, at the end of a 40-hour grind, uh, he's got better defense, speed as well, plus two, a little bit better shooting. But I'll tell you what, there's not too much in it. Hoff, dead eye flexible with uh, Juan right there. i tell you what, there's not too much in it. That is ridiculous. Who else can we compare him to? Compared to Donovan Mitchell, who came out yesterday, obviously they are slightly different. You know, six one against six foot three, but again, really, really similar. Again, Hoff flexible going to a Juan, which is a very, very nice badge. Again, very compa comparable. Very, very, very comparable. Give Juan a defensive Kobe. Yeah, I mean this this card is ridiculous. This card's ridiculous. And not only are his stats and bad is ridiculous, but you come over to his jump shot. He has got the Dwayne Wade release on quick, and naturally he can curry slide because who can't? Um, so D Wade release on quick, curry slide. Shooting wise with Hall of Fame range flexible and dead eye, it's a GG. Moving, just like and passing, half quick first step, floor general, downhill, dimer. He's brilliant. And then Clamps, Hard Crush, Intimidator. Pfft. Marginally better. I mean, people have been saying he's very comparable to John Havlicek. So let's have a look. Obviously, John Havlicek, a card that Splash used in the 250k and absolutely killed with him. And they are pretty damn comparable. Havlicek's got the better defense, but Juan's got the better speed and much better driving, plus eight on the old driving dunk. Um, and he's got a lot more Hall of Fame badges as well, so... Okay, Easton was good, Thomas is good, Gus, see you later, get banned, get talking to yourself, man, and ain't nobody gonna be able to see you. Uh, way better than Wade, oh, I don't, ugh. it makes me sad comparing cards to Wade, because Wade was so good when he first came out, he was so good, um, there's not too much in it, 
plus seven to the three. That's quite nice. Um, and obviously, half range, flexible, dead eye, catch and shoot, showtime, slithery, fast break, intimidator, heart crusher, timer, <laughs> floor general, hands All right, it's not even close. All right, it's not even close. Juan Carlos is much better than Dwayne Wade. Big sad. Vinicius was good. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Hondo can't play point guard. Navarro can. A very good point. Very good point. Um, but yeah, you compare these cards. Exactly the same wingspan. One inch taller for Dwayne Wade. And that's sad. That is sad. Obviously, Dwayne Wade only has his uh, release on normal. Whereas uh, Navarro is coming in with it on quick. So it's going to have an even quicker jump shot. God damn. What about Luca? Let's have a look. I really like comparing the taller point guards with Luca coming in at 6'7. Um, but again, very comparable. Now it says this is plus 176 to Luca, but you know, most of them are post stats down here, which are completely irrelevant. Um, Luca's with a much better passing, a little bit better on the rebounding. Defensively, pretty much the same. Speed goes to Navarro. Shooting, pretty much the same. Driving goes to Juan with a plus 8. And then badges, very similar. Very similar. But defensive badges, Hoff Clamps and Heart Crusher on Juan, off Rip, and Hoff Downhill. That's not bad. Oh, my place is going to turn off. Don't do that. It's comparable. This card should be like three, 400k, but I don't think he's going to be. He should be three, 400k. Obviously, the thing with uh, Luca is Luca's got that extra 4 inch height, which does make a big, big difference um who else can compare him to the point guard position james harden again six five so a little bit taller harden with a better defense again Juan with a better driving this card is this card is ridiculous this card is ridiculous pretty similar on the badges pretty similar on the badges hoff showtime though and giant slayer that's nice now are we going to buy this card no, because he's going to be in packs, and uh, he's going to be in VC only packs, so we've got no chance of actually packing him, because we're not going to be opening any packs. So I don't think I'll ever actually get this card for myself, but it's cool. Something different. It's a new name. It's his first card this year. You see right here, there's no other cards he's had this year, and he comes straight in at the Opal level. Has he even had cards before? Did he have any cards last year? Um, did he have a card last year? He didn't even have a card last year. <laughs> he didn't even have a card last year. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, you're hoping for Germany next week? Well, we've now had France, Spain, and uh, obviously Australia and New Zealand. So, I think Germany's a strong shout. I think Germany is, is definitely a, a strong shout. So, all in all, not too crazy. You know, no one's going to use one. No one's going to use Marcus Sol. People might Evo up Jose Calderon, but I don't think it's really going to be worth the effort. Nobody's going to be excited to get pink on Rookie Rubio. That's not going to happen. Uh, and I think a lot of people are, to be fair, going to be excited about getting their hands on this card. He wasn't in 19 either. Bruh. Random cards, man. Random, random cards from 2K. But I guess we shouldn't expect anything else. So, uh, Dirk and Dirk in every level. I mean, I think today shows that they just kind of go with completely random players that we've maybe never seen before. So I think Germany with, you know, Dennis Schroeder, I think somebody's put there, Maxi Kleber, people like those. I think those cards could come through. And, like, Dirk's too good of a card to headline those kind of sets anyway. Like, the sets come out today on Tuesdays. You know, who have we, who have we had so far? We had uh, Opal Tony Parker, Opal Andrew Bogut, and Opal... Juan Carlos Navarro. Like, they're not the Nowitzki levels of players, that's for sure. Right, 10 points with a Rockets player in Unlimlim. Now, do I have any half-decent Rockets players? I don't actually know. It's James Harden. I guess we're going to have to use James Harden. I don't really want to use James Harden, but we're going to have to use the James Harden. So 10 points with him, and then uh, hopefully... We'll be able to just get a dub. Let's do this, actually. Bobby Jones, I'm sorry. Get out of there, man. Get out of here, cur. All right. Let's run with this. Magnus was good. Welcome to the stream. So 10 points with Damien. Not Damien. 
with James Harden. This is our first game in the diamond tier. Game number one. We need to get nine wins to get out of here. So let's do it. Let's do it. I uh, wonder if we get XP for these cards. We should do. What did we get last week? Let's have a look. Heisenberg, what's good, man? Welcome to the stream. Let's have a look at what we got last week in the agenda. So we got... Da -da 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 -da. All Star Spotlight. So last week we got... Huh? That was not last week. Last week. Uh, Australian Weekly Challenge. So you just get XP for playing the one challenge and then two challenges with this week's going to be Jose Calderon. And then also some promo agendas. Jesus Christ, that's a good team. Oh, my God. Um, we got promo agendas last week, which were for the double take, finals, draft cards. So today it should be flash challenges. It should be flash challenges today. But there's no way that they can drop that in the game without people having 150k. There's no way that they can drop more XP into the game today without people... Oh, no. I guess there is, actually. I guess there is. Now, that was 3,600 plus... Okay, so, yeah. if that, There should be Flash XP as well. There's Bill Walton. Oh, I didn't see that. I saw Tracy McGrady, and I got screwed. I saw Tracy McGrady. I got scared. Oh, that's fine, then. Uh, maybe Diamond Token Market? I don't think so. I think it will just be Flash players. I think it will just be Flash players. All right, you want to do settings? Let's do settings as well, shall we? Uh, hands is good. How are we doing, bro? We're dropping into Unlimited today. We need to play four games for Pink Diamond D'Angelo Russell. We need to get 10 points with James Harden in this game for our daily agenda. And we're in the Diamond tier as well. So every game definitely has quite a bit of pressure attached to it. Now, my man's out here running with Bill Walton, which is an interesting, an interesting decision. I'm not too sure why he's done this, but you know what? We'll allow it. <laughs> we'll allow it. I'm not going to complain about it. You want to come out here with Bill Walton? Be my guest, bro. Be my goddamn guest, because I am not worried about him in the slightest. Um, two and a half games from the wall. Very nice, man. Very nice indeed. Vision owner flashcards. Yeah, see, I don't know how many flashcards I have. That's a bad shot to start this day. I don't know how many flashcards I have that are original owner, but... I've definitely got a few. I've definitely got a few. Um, these Europeans. Palmer's going to be a god? Yeah, he, he, he is a god. <laughs> he is unbelievable. Like, comparable to... <sighs> oh, my God, James, you've kicked the ball. You've kicked the ball further away from me. <laughs> oh, my God, he hung on the rim. And he kicked the ball away. Bruh. Sam, hello. Welcome to the stream. This game is hilarious at the best of times. James Harden to the rim. That is a disgusting poster over Kawhi Leonard, of all people. Bruh. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Um, okay. Thank you very much. You hope the vault update's good tomorrow? I hope it is as well, man. I hope it is as well. I think Don Ole is going to stay there. I don't think Don Ole is going to disappear. Um, I think what will happen tomorrow is the Diamond Consumer Pack will be taken out. And then some probably other 90-year-old guy from, like, wherever there's nobody nobody's ever heard of uh, will go into the vault and will also probably be one of the best cards in the game. So that's my expectation for tomorrow. If they do that, you know, there's no, there's no guarantee that there's going to be any XP tomorrow. So... Will we see D-Rob finally? Will we finally see his stats? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Uh, DBG, yeah, this this one, Carlos, man. He's looking ridiculous. He's looking ridiculous. But kind of sucks that, you know, we're just having to get used to VC only Super Packs on a Tuesday, like a weekly occurrence for Super Packs. Let's hope that's just this season. And let's hope they don't want to make that a thing throughout the rest of the year. Uh, Odram was good. The Beast, hello. Welcome to the stream. Everybody, we're out in Unlimited, and this is the Diamond Tier. We are needing nine wins to get out of, out of this, which I thought it was less, not going to lie. I thought they dropped it down. So I only had to win six to get out of the Amethyst Tier, into the Diamond Tier. I had to win six, and I've got to go win nine? Like, that's quite a big uptake. That is quite a big uptake. How was I not contested more than 12%? All right, whatever. <laughs> All right, whatever. Go on, Kawhi. Psych. Go on, Donal. Greens, thank you. He's running Bill Walton. He is. 
He is. I should be able to win this. We've just had some bad luck to begin with, but we'll get there. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. The main purpose of this game is just daily agenda. Getting our um, 200 XP for scoring with a Rockets player. We also need to play, uh, play four anyway for Pink Diamond, Janjo, Russell. Because again, you guys know, I'm wanting to complete those sets just because, or not complete them, but get as many cards as I can just because they look cool. They look good. And why the hell not? What is going on here? Oh my god, James Harden, what was that release? Jesus Christ, I have not used his jump shot. I don't think ever. And I wish I hadn't. That was awful. <laughs> Puts us good, how we doing? Oh, that's so slow. Compared to the cards that I've got on my team right now, that is so slow, but he knocks it down, so I'll take it. Um, you think Daryl will be Dark Matter? I sincerely disagree. I really don't think it's going to be a Dark Matter. In my opinion, there's no way... It's going to be a dark matter. With just two weeks left of the season, they can't change it. With just two weeks left of the season, they, they can't go ahead and, and change it because there's going to be many, many people out there that have made their decision to not go for 12-0 and 0, or not go for level 40 based on the fact that he was an Opal. So to switch it now and just screw over everybody that's already made that decision, that's, that's really poor. So I hope they don't do that. I really, really hope they don't do that. James Harden is the rim again. Let's get it. There's nine points. One more point with him, and we chill him. Um, why aren't his stats out yet? Well, 2K saw what happened last season with Kawhi, and like every other season as well. They saw what happened last season with Kawhi and the fact that they already had to update him once, and they just didn't want to do that. They want to wait and see you know, what cards are coming out at the time. James Harden again. James Harden with a nice big brick. Kawhi Leonard. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, that's why, and I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It's good. It's going to make him more relevant when he does come out. But I wouldn't mind knowing now. When he's literally going to be available, either tomorrow or at the very latest Thursday. Like, come on, 2K. Let us know what we're playing for, man. Let us know what we're playing for, man. But I guess I don't want to do that. James Harden, beautiful behind the back to the rim. And that is his 10 points. So he is going to come out. And I guess Dwayne Wade... Is gone. Come in. I guess we're gonna rock with uh with Dwayne Wade out here. Cause why not? Cause why not? Please get in front of him. Or, or just stand behind him. That's fine. That's fine. What's the best spot I seem to do? I think if you had to choose one opal, go for Wes Unseld rather than Brandon Roy. But they're so so tight. I don't even know if I'm going to do them. Honestly, at this point, I don't know if I'm going to do spotlights. We've done maybe ten. Really not too many at all. James Harden's still out here. Moses Malone out here. Good brick. Oh, I love this game. I love missing shots. It's so fun. It's so fun. Uh, that guy was good. Welcome to the stream. How we doing? You're only doing worse? Yeah, I feel like that's the best thing to do. Uh, Jonas, just, I don't know, play it. Watch videos. Learn. I don't know. Domination, I guess. Spotlight Sims. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had to, I've had to play this game for the first time. Uh, let's get Lonzo. We may have already got Lonzo. I may have already got Lonzo. Uh, we need to play. Oh, I'm playing you. Oh, my guy. I only needed 10 points of James Harden. And I've got that. So uh, now I just need the dub. Because we're in the diamond tier. I only need nine. W well, I need nine wins. I've got 12 games to do it. So... Start for the win, man. Uh, Juan, hello. Welcome to the stream. You're good doing Royce. He's a team at clone. Go for it, man. Will spotlights end at the end of the season? They will not. Spotlights are going to stay there forever. That has been confirmed by 2K. So there's no rush. It'd be ridiculous if 2K did decide to make it disappear. Like, that would be pathetic. Uh, but thankfully, they haven't done that. They are going to stay and, uh, and we chill with it. We might get more of them done throughout, like, next season. But for right now, I'm not too fast. Um... Eric, I see you, man. I see you. Oh, that kind of sucks. We were going to be play playing tomorrow, weren't we? If you want to reschedule and you're not feeling up to it, then uh, that's absolutely fine, buddy. As long as you get safe, that is the main thing. That is the main thing. Um, what did you mean when you said the 422k wasn't mine? I mean, it's 2k gave it to me, so it's not really mine. It's not like I bought it, basically. So it's not like I'm going to be using it. We'll use it on my career, but that is it. Uh, Howard, I think that's probably a good idea, my friend. And that was probably a very good idea. Dwayne Wade back in the team. Back to the rim. Easy life. 
Dark Matter Domination next season? I doubt it. Dark Matter level 40? 100%. Dark Matter level 40? 100%. There is no way level 40 next season will be another 98 rated Opal. It's just not going to happen. It will be a Dark Matter. Jesus Christ, that was awful. It will be a Dark Matter. Who's it going to be? I don't know. We had a couple of guesses yesterday at a Larry Legend. I think Larry Bird is a very, very strong shout. Um... Yeah, you can you can have Bill Walton at three point line man. That's not going to scare me at all. Maybe a Dominique, but I don't really think Dominique's anywhere near as strong a shout as uh, as Larry Legend is. But whatever it's going to be, it's going to be a dark matter, and I am very very excited to probably be getting our very first dark matter. I don't think we're going to get one before that. So controller's low, classic. Hey, halfway through the podcast, jeez. What are you thinking to it so far, man? Have you watched any others? So, like, can you, can you like compare it to any others out there? Claudius was good. Welcome to the stream, Larry or Mello. That was it. Yeah, yeah. So, Larry Bird or Carmelo Anthony. I think both of those are very strong shouts. The only primary position we haven't had yet is a primary small forward. We've ha we've had you know all players from other positions, so they're the only two that we haven't had yet. I think Larry Bird or uh, Carmelo Anthony are very. Very strong shouts. I thought it was going to be Kareem this season. Obviously, we've got David Robinson instead, so I don't think they're going to go back-to-back. -back. Um, I'd be su so surprised if they go back-to-back -back with centres, and it doesn't really make sense to do that. So, fingers crossed they don't. I'd love to see a Kareem, but I don't think I want to see a Kareem just yet. Like, when we've just got David Robinson being added into the team. We're going to get Wes Unseld as well. We don't really need another one, man. We don't really need yet another one. Uh, Kawhi was shooting guard, yeah, Kawhi was primary shooting guard. He was primary small forward to begin with, but then they changed him. So, uh, yeah, if you have a look at his card, he is primary shooting guard. What's this double, like, elevator play? That is defense. That is defense. Uh, free Clyde next Monday? Could be this Friday, but it definitely will be. Maybe Grant Hill? Nah, nowhere near good enough for a, a level 40 card, or nowhere near a big enough name. For a level 40 card. Level 40 has got to be something special. I think D-Rob was just about on that level of, you know, our casual people going to grind for that card. I think that was that was probably the level. And they don't really want to go under that. So I think Larry Legend really does make sense. A Dark Matter, Larry Legend. He was one of the first GOAT cards we had last year. So he was one of the first people to get one of those, like, all 99 cards last season. Or last year, sorry. And he was brilliant. Like, everybody loved that card. So if they want to just go ahead and do that again real quick, that would be amazing. Kawhi, you better not miss. Good lad. Good lad. That would be primary power forward. He might be. He might be. I think he's had cards before which have been primary small forward, though. I think not this year, but I think in previous 2Ks he's had them that have been primary small forward. So it is possible. It is possible. Uh, Worthy hasn't a card a while. Again, nowhere near big enough for a, a level 40 reward, in my opinion. In my opinion, you got to think like we know how good these cards are in 2K, but for the casual player, they see James Worthy, they ain't gonna be putting in the time and effort to get that card. It's not, it's not gonna happen. What was that? Uh, my coach is Ruby Steve Kerr, so not a crazy good coach, just a Ruby card, but he does bits, man. We got a team taker over out here. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah, Han, again, like, he's big, but, again, our casual's going to go for it. I don't think so. Matt, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Vince Carter just got a card. Kobe, I hope it's not Kobe. And, I mean, it would be brilliant if he was, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like they'll probably leave him for packs at some point. Let's be real. I'll be surprised if he's level 40. Um... I was just about to read somebody else's comment, which was, how do you get one card? It's going to be in packs. He's going to be in packs. That's, that's all there is to say about that. Uh, he'll be in flash super packs, though, sadly. So not packs you can get with MT, just packs you can get with the usual VC. d up today? Not today, my friend. No stats on the database. So unless 2K have messed up so badly uh, and made him available without having stats, which surely they wouldn't have done, um, no, not going to be today. If it's not tomorrow, at the very, very latest, it will be Thursday. At the very latest, it will be Thursday. VDK, what's good? Welcome to the stream. So it's either going to be tomorrow if we get some sort of XP. If we get absolutely no XP tomorrow, 
then it will be Thursday because, you know, Thursdays are obviously green lights. Come on. Thursdays are moments cards. So as soon as moments cards come out, we're easily going to get 5,000 XP. So, yeah, that's exciting, man. That is exciting. That would be a 2K thing to do. It would be a 2K thing to do. I'm not disagreeing with you on that one, but let's just hope well, that's not going to happen. Don't foul. Why give up an ammo on there? Why do it? Why do it? Uh, Kenzie, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we should get a new locker code tonight. We'll get a new locker code tonight for a, a flash pack. It'll be one of the flash packs, so one through uh, one through seven. We'll definitely be getting that later on tonight because it is going to be, in my opinion, a flash super packs dropping in one hour's time, boys. It is three o'clock. We've got an hour to go, obviously, until four, until content drops. And we're going to get through, hopefully, another game of Unlim Lim. I mean, we've obviously got this game in the bag. Is there any NBA games on Wednesday? I have no idea. Uh, let's go NBA calendar. I have no idea. Uh, there's not. Yes, there are. Yeah, so Thursday, my time. Thursday at 1 a.m. and Thursday at 1.30 a.m. Grizz Wizards and Mavs Spurs. So there definitely are. Um, but, you know, they've made moments cards before based off cards that aren't just from playing that. But are they the first game? Oh, no. Are they the first game since All-Star game? They are, aren't they? Hmm. Is he saying Ricky Rubio worth it? No. No. Patrick, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Mr. Jones, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was very different uh, and nervous, nerve-wracking nerve and uh, exciting and fun to do. Uh, but yeah, I feel like it came out quite well. I feel like the podcast came out quite well. It's I've only heard positive things about it, which is brilliant, obviously. So yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully they'll get me back on in a few weeks' time. Fingers crossed. Uh, Asga was good. Welcome, welcome. What do I think the token market will open? Never. And if anybody else can stop me asking me about the token market, it would be great because it will never open because it's 2K. Uh, Jim, welcome to the stream, man. Guys, the token market has opened this entire year three times, right? We're in March. This game came out in September and it's opened three times. Why are people so pressed on it? Why are people so pressed on it? It's never going to open. Just accept that. Never, ever expect it. And if it does come round, then be happy. But just don't expect it, boys. Like ever. Uh, Venge Kamali was good. Welcome to the stream, guys. Don O for three. Don O for three. Uh, do I think the spotlights are needed for something like Harden was? Potentially. Potentially. But I, at this point, until I see what that is, I don't care. I mean, could they do another Kobe thing like they did last year? You know, they made it that huge grind, which was for the reward for that GOAT Kobe card. Could they do something similar like that for a, for a Dark Matter? Kobe Kiard? I don't know. It'd be, it'd be pretty damn intense, wouldn't it? It'd be pre pretty damn intense if they did, and it would take an incredible amount of times. Um, Matthew, it really doesn't matter. I'm up by 25. I can take whatever shots I like. Yeah, Max, I, I, I don't understand the begging for the token market either. It don't make no sense. I don't think I ever look even to see if it opens. Because it never does. And I don't know why, why people are so expectant of it opening. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Um, what am I saying? Retro Volume 3 Friday. I think it's probably going to be an Idols Friday with a with a Giannis potentially. We're definitely going to get a new Giannis soon. We're definitely getting another Curry Soon, 100% we're getting curry. I've shot 100% in this second half, and Matthew's out here telling me not to rush my shots. Like, bruh. <laughs> like, bruh. Uh, how was the new Galaxy Opal? Really good, man. Really, really, really good. Take time shooting the ball. I mean, I'm playing differently in this game than I would in other games because I'm winning very comfortably. Uh, it's going to be Flash XP today, right? Yes, absolutely, bro. Absolutely. We got it last week with the promo packs. The week before that, it was the idol super packs. So, yeah, this week it's going to be flash packs. So, it should be flash XP along with it. If it's not, I'd be surprised. Kawhi, go get that big fella. Oh, my days. Really? Oh, Kawhi, that's worse than the uh, missing the 250k. Easily. <laughs> easily, easily worse. Don O for three. Don O for three. God damn. God damn. 
Uh, Phoenix, they have not. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, uh, I posted a couple of updates about my car earlier. If you don't know, my car got stolen last week on Wednesday or Wednesday, uh, well, Wednesday night. So Thursday morning, I found out it was lost. So it was like Thursday at 2 a.m. it got stolen. Um, and since then, I've had very, very minimal contact from the police or anything. They told me three times that somebody was going to get into contact with me. They haven't. Uh, and then today we rang up and we found out that the police officer that has been assigned to the case, so because we live in the middle of nowhere, like one person will get assigned it, um, he's on holiday. And he has been on holiday and he's not back off holiday until Sunday. So they've gone ahead and assigned an active case to somebody who's not even there. And that is just, I, I can't describe the incompetence and how infuriating and how frustrating that is. Um, so yeah, it's not been, it's not been a good day. I'm not gonna lie. I only found out that like 20 minutes or so before this stream, but yeah, that's really, really frustrating and it's just incompetent, isn't it? It just is. It's just incompetent. Why give a, a case that's so fresh, that's just happened, like the best chance of finding it is going to be in the first couple of weeks and they give it to somebody who's not even there. I was thinking like, what, what the, f who the fuck made that decision? Like, ah, oh, it's so, it's so... So frustrating. Um, so yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm ever going to get my car back. Do I have any trust in the police in the slightest? No, um, absolutely none. So yeah, I have absolutely no faith they'll do anything to even try and find it at this rate. So yeah, I think it's a GG on that one. I think it's a GG. Apparently though, they're still going around in uh, in like parks and everything around here and like breaking people up from like sitting in in parks and because of like COVID and whatnot. So at least they can tell people off for being outside rather than, you know, trying to find, you know, criminals. <sighs> Frustrating. Uh, Tyler, because he's, he's in the chat, man. He's in the chat, so that'd be why he's uh, he's staying in here. Uh, Pulp, I've got no idea, man. I need to talk to the, uh, I need to talk to the insurance. But again, <laughs> I swear, guys, <laughs> I'm so drained. The insurance company also said they would ring me. They said on Thursday that it would take two days and their like theft team would get in contact. It's now Tuesday and I haven't heard anything. So, so much, like, I'm the one who's been completely fucked in this scenario and I'm having to reach out to these people to say like, oh, are you actually doing your thing? Or like, can you actually, like, ah, oh, the, the frustration is so, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was a Ford Fiesta ST, but I'd had it for like two and a half years. I put like 25,000 miles on it, which is like 40,000 40, kilometers or something like that. So quite a lot of time I spent driving that car. I modded it from nothing to having a lot of mods. Um, it was the first car I really put time and effort and money into. Um, and yeah, it goes. The police do fuck all. The insurance company say they're going to ring, then they don't ring. Like, it's just, it's just so, so, so disappointing in everybody. But, oh, well. Oh, well. I'm not Dame, but don't have the MT to buy the pink diamond. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't worry about going for Dame. I don't think there's anything too crazy. Uh, Anthony, thank you very much, man. Yeah, Sunday was mad. Sunday was mental. I'm still recovering from it, not going to lie. Definitely still recovering from it. I'm going to sleep a bit more tomorrow. Because <laughs> obviously tonight we're doing another stream over on Twitch. We'll be live later on, boys. Twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover. I'll put that into the chat in a second. Let's do that now. Uh, but yeah, we'll be live out here tonight. And then tomorrow we will not do a YouTube stream because there shouldn't be any new content. There might be, but I doubt it. Um, and we will just do... Oh, no. We will just do the Twitch stream tomorrow. Yeet. What a yeet. Right. Uh, we, yeah, Eric, they probably will. Which isn't really an excuse, not going to lie, because I'm pretty sure they are still all in office. Um, and if they're spending too much manpower dispersing people from, like, parks and whatnot, it's just frustrating, man. It's just frustrating. At eight, yeah, the usual time. Wait, did I not just put it into the chat? Yeah, I did. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, there it is. If you want to come through to Twitch tonight, we will, of course, be out there. And we will be playing in more Unlimited. In more Unlimlim. 
And we'll see how that goes. But we'll see how the rest of the games go in this stream. So we've got 50 minutes until content drops. We'll get through this game. And we'll hopefully be able to get through another two games. So then we only need to play one more Unlimited and three Triple Threat online. And we could get all those done in this stream. If Unlimited goes well enough. Which, you know, it may well not. Um, Death Row was good. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Grayson, we'll do another I Rate Your Squad at some point, man. But yeah, it's been a busy, uh, it's been a busy, busy week, couple of weeks, that's for sure. Uh, Matthew was good. Welcome to the stream. How are we doing? All right, at least we've got our daily agenda done. New Vault tomorrow. There is a new Vault tomorrow. I don't think Don Ole is going to disappear. Um, I'm pretty sure Don Ole will be staying. I think a new card will be added in. Oh, God, yes. There'll be a new card on the database. So we might actually. We might actually fire up tomorrow on uh, on YouTube. We might have a YouTube stream tomorrow, depending on how good the card is. And if we get D Rob stats, then we'll definitely go ahead and fire up on YouTube. So we might have two streams tomorrow. Guaranteed to have one. We might do two again. But obviously, we had two yesterday, and uh, we back at it again with two today. My way to the corner. Easy life. Uh, did you limited last night? Went three and one. Very nice, man. Very very nice. Oh God, that didn't sound good. That didn't sound good. Wrong Dom Deuce or Delo? I would not, man. I would not. I'm more than happy with my Don O. I've got Lonzo. I don't. I don't want to use him just yet because I want to talk about him in, in video. Uh, and I'm not really like used to him at all. So I'd rather use him in in like TTO first to get used to the card rather than going straight into Unlimited. That's not going to work out too well. Uh, but we have bought Alonzo Ball. Um, I'll talk about it more in tonight's No Money Spent episode, but I will tell you boys right now, I bought him for 55k with Kobe 6 uh, defensive shoes. So 55k defensive Kobe shoes. Now, right now, those Kobe shoes, they're at about like 30, 40k, I think. The cheapest Alonzo is 40k, so I paid 15k extra for Kobe 6 shoes. And I don't think that's a bad price, man. I don't think that's a bad price at all. Now, it didn't have any badges, so I did have to go ahead and buy a few. But I would say, in total, I got more, I got most of them on the cheap cheap, and I had quite a few already in the club. So I would say probably 70k for a fully badged out Lonzo with a Kobe 6 shoe. I, th I think that's not too bad. I think that's not too bad. And I've seen Ty and Splash use him, and the fact that they both used him, that says to me, I should probably be using him. Obviously, it's because of his, his height. And his, uh, his defense, which is obviously brilliant. And the fact that he can switch basically one through five. Whereas, you know, Don Ole out here, if he gets switched onto a big man, it's a GG. I think I could make our lives quite a bit easier in Unlimited. But like I said, I don't want to use him just yet because I don't want to go into Unlimited with cards I don't know. That's not going to work out too well, like, at all. Um, you can get one. He'll be in uh, All-Star, or not All-Star, uh, Flash Super Packs. Flash two packs in... Oh, God. Oh, great. Nice. In 45 minutes' time. Senan was good when we get an Opal Lonzo. Oh, when we get an Opal Lonzo. He gonna be good. He gonna be good, good. Uh, right, we've got 600. Oh, no. We've got 666 people in here. Oh, no, it's fine. We've gone up now. Uh, drop a like on the stream, boys. We've got 173. Let's go ahead and push up to 200 likes on the stream for our first dub of my team unlimited of the day first up in the diamond tier so we're starting off one and oh needing to get eight wins from our remaining 11 games so fingers crossed we can do so uh chubbs i see you man that is rough i got very very blessed to get him in four games at the start of the season and i'm happy for that as well uh dirk gg my guy gg gg so trying to figure out why big o is 15k i mean that's unbelievably cheap like Unbelievably cheap. Uh, Lonzo's insane, but why'd you buy him? You just said because he's insane. And because he's like, well, I paid like in total, like like I said, about 70k to fully badge him out. And with Kobe 6 shoes, like, that's really good price. And I haven't used him yet. Um, and because I can. Basically, we've got so much MT that, you know, why not? Why not go ahead and uh, try some try some fun cards? Okay, good. A few people are saying the servers down, but evidently they are fine. So we need to give a contract to somebody for our daily agenda. So let's give you a contract. Um, I can't, Hans. No, because I'm not there. So I, I can't do it. Have you video on him? I will be doing so tonight, bro. I will be doing so tonight. So I haven't done it yet, but uh, when I record tonight's video, I'll add him into the club 
and we will go ahead and fully badge him out. Right, let's jump into another game. We have broken MT. Well, we've got like one and a half milli. We've got one and a half milli milli, so pretty decent. Lonzo's price is about 40k, like everybody's been saying, and like I've already said a few times. Uh, Matthew was good. You pulled Comic MJ from the weekly challenge pack. Oh my god. Oh my god. How sway? That's absurd. Uh, Kyung, no updates yet, my friend. Okay, so he's got James Harden in there. Oh no, well, that's me. Oh no. <laughs> I was looking at the other guys. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. I just looked at his team and I was like, oh, he's got James Harden there. He's doing his challenges. No, that's literally me. Whoops. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I forgot to take out James Harden and then thought it was my opponent's team. That's quite embarrassing. Um, <laughs> any word on D-Rob? Not today, Grant. So it's 100% going to be either tomorrow or Thursday. Tomorrow or Thursday, 100%. Opal David Robinson will be, one, attainable, and two, obviously we will have his stats. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, if he comes out tomorrow and we get stats then I'll fire up a stream on YouTube. If not, we'll take YouTube stream off tomorrow and uh, we'll be back at it on Thursday for a YouTube stream and then Friday for a YouTube stream. So this week on YouTube, four streams, potentially five, uh, which is quite a lot. We had our level 36 Ascension Board video last night, boys. So if you missed that, be sure to go ahead and check it out on the channel, the final Ascension Board of the season. Could we get another grand prize, another Adrian Dantley? Have to go check it out. Kill viewers, good the stream. In tonight's video, we're going to be opening up our Galaxy Opal Donovan Mitchell. We're going to be adding in the Pink Diamond Lonzo, fully badging out the Pink Diamond Lonzo, and hopefully adding in Pink Diamond D'Angelo Russell as well. So the murals, the Mirage thingies from the Age of Heroes sets are going to start to be coming together. So we'll have seven out of 15 of the Modern Age cards, which is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. What's this guy doing? Oh, how's he got away with that? Um, do I think do I think I'll always be a nobody spent player? Yeah, yeah. Did, did you guys see Troy Dan? Did you guys see Troy Dan? If you did, put into the chat right now how much he spent to get one dark matter. If you saw how much Troy Dan spent, put it in the chat right about now to get one dark matter card. Give me that. Get beta, bro. Get beta, bro. Let's go. Uh, Ryan, yeah, it's it's rough. I ain't gonna lie, it's it's rough. Uh, five million, more than that. It just was more than that. <laughs> it's absurd. He spent was it seven million, seven million VC. Oh, that's so bad. I thought he was behind me. God damn it. Seven mil VC, which is the equivalent of around seventeen hundred dollars. $1,700, and he got one Dark Matter. Now, the maddest thing about that is, if he stopped before that final pack, he would have spent, like, $1,600 and not got one. Yeah, it was 240 packs, wasn't it? So 240 packs. If he'd have opened 239, he wouldn't have got a pink... Uh, he wouldn't have got Dark Matter. Why have you passed it there? That is... Unbel Imagine spending that much on a game. Bear in mind, boys, they, there's not just one Dark Matter. There are four Dark Matters in these uh, in these packs. Four. And he spent all that to get one. Ah! <laughs> That's mental. Right, this guy is pressing me, so we're going to go ahead and press him as well. The standard boring meta of 2K21. He does have Amethyst... KPJ out here, which is a interesting shout. Um, oh, it's, uh, it's about 400 packs he opened. Jesus Christ. That is so, so painful to hear. So, to get one out of four. How much... Now, that would be interesting, and I don't recommend he does this, but, like, how much would he have had to spend to get all four players out of packs? So, think of, like, any other game out there you know, how much money you have to put in to get, like, the best or the best thing available. 
how much money would he have had to put in to get all four of the Dark Matter cars that were available in these packs? I think that's I think that's quite a scary thought. I'm not gonna lie. I think that is a scary, scary thought. I think he could have been hundreds of thousands and uh, not hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, and not got there. That's, that's tough, man. That's that's tough. I do feel for his bank account, but like he'll make that money back like so easily. Big up the Phantom Fowls. Big up the Phantom Fowls. I love those. Let's play conservative out here. Um, that was a second stream for opening packs as well. My goodness. My goodness. I mean, when you got that much money, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... My goodness. Let's do a full court yeet right here. Moses Malone inside. Easy life. Okay, so the first game we got was easy. Dirk, if you're still in here, no offense. First game we got out here was a uh, nice... And straightforward. Oh no. Don't be an ad one. Fucking hell. Okay, so that's two. That's two and ones that I've had zero control over. So, love that. Thanks, 2K. 10 out of 10. I hate how random this game is. It hurts me. It hurts my soul. Moses Malone with range extender, with brick extender. Oh dear me, yeah, he probably did. He probably did, let's be real. I don't know how many viewers he would have had out there, but... It would have been a lot. I don't know how much he make off ads, but it would have been a lot. I don't know how much he makes off donations and stuff, but again, it would have been a lot. So, yeah, he would have still turned a profit even after opening up that much in terms of packs, which is still a scary, scary amount. Ah, yeah, Anton Jameson, you could have got a steal right there, my guy. Defense. Finally, some defense. Finally, not an and one for this guy. God damn, it's about time. Dwayne Wade to the rim. There we go. Come on. Yeah, 24k viewers or whatever it was. Jeez. That's rather a lot. My ankles have been taken. I am in pain. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Dead. Dead. Moses Malone to the rim. Psych. Kawhi. Psych. Don. Oh. Way too deep. What the fuck are you doing out there, man? Jesus Christ. You've got... Mm, fucking shit. Fucking game. <laughs> he just could just run to the three-point line. Why is he... Uh, why is he pitched a tent that far away? I don't get it. Why is he stood so far back when the three-point line is wide open? This game it makes no sense. And it's so frustrating. Don O, easy to the rim. Psych. Great. Good. Grand. Oh, it's just another meta sweat fest in this game. And it's so depressing to play. It really, really is. Yeah, good. Fuck your five out, man. Please, Anton. Holy shit, boys. Holy shit. Don't you dare. Down by one, and this is awful. Like, this is dreadful. So bad. So bad. Uh, my mum would love it in Troy's streams. You're not wrong, Colby, bro. She would be right at home. She'd be like, oh, yeah, this is great. Spent, like, what, $1,600? But I'm loving these packs. Bruh. <laughs> not on my account, I'll tell you that. Not on my account. I would be broke boy very quickly. That would be very sad. No... Kawhi. Oh my fucking god, this game. Why would Moses Malone do that jump when I didn't tell him to? Why would he go for a contest when I didn't tell him to? <laughs> which just gives us a wide gives up a wide open offensive rebound, which leads to a wide open bucket. I just don't get it. Defense, come on. Defense. Into offense. Don't you miss that. Thank you very much. Come on. Come on. There's no way Cedric Maxwell's worth it. Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. You can wear it as a badge of honor, but that's about it. And does anybody really care about that right about now? I don't think so. We spoke about this in the R Team podcast, uh, which you haven't seen, by the way. Do go ahead and check it out. Uh, I've, it, links to that are on my Twitter or on uh, Jazz's Twitter as well. Once you get 12 and 0 once in a year, or like when you get the 12 and 0 player once in a year, 
you, you're kind of done. You can wear that. You kind of just wear that, you know, as a badge of honor. You only really need to do it once. I don't think there's any real. Po- oh, don't go behind him. Sweating for it like time and time again because it is so stressful. It is so sweaty. Hit a fucking shot. Why have you faded? Thank you, Anton Jameson. Uh, it's so sweaty. It's just not worth it. And the players we get are also just not worth it. Play five out two. Oh, I don't want to, man. I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy. I'm still sticking true to myself. Still tr- sticking true to myself. Uh, Kawhi was six of 19 on open threes. Yikes. Oh, in Hoff spotlight? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Griddle was good. One of the stream. Come on, boys. We can win this one. We can definitely... Definitely, definitely, definitely win this one. Oh, fuck's sake, bro. Don Oh, do you not have any type of pick dodger? Seriously? You not have anything that can help with defense? <sighs> we might go to mad man here, because I don't think it's working out. I think these screens are just causing match up mismatches, which are not... Not seeing us through too well. Great defense, Anton Jameson. Fantastic defense, Anton Jameson. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And one fun. Come on. We can win this. We can win this. He started with a full court press, so we met him with that. He's at a five outing every possession. I'm not doing that. Hopefully, we can get this one over the... Over the edge, though. We've got a lot of takeovers at the moment. Like, a lot, a lot of takeovers. That's a tough shot. Moving three. Thank you. Come on, moving shots are not the ones. Moses Malone. That is Donovan Mitchell. So you throw that one down, big fella. You throw that down, big fella. That'll put us up by six. And if we can just get a few more stops out here. I think we'll be living quite alright. That's a, that's an awful shot. That's an awful shot. That is a fantastic rebound. That is a fantastic pass. And that's Kawhi inside. And he's now got his lockdown takeover. Okay. Okay, boys. Okay. Now we're starting to make some plays. Now we're starting to make some moves. Holy shit. Get in front of him. Oh, my God. We got lucky there. But I will take it, man. I will take it. Great roll. Inside and one fun. Come on, come on. Um, so I'll win it for the boys. We're up by ten, so I'm gonna win it for the boys. We've got half an hour to go until the new packs drop. Now I'm not really obviously fussed about the packs, but I'm very, very, very interested to see what the XP is gonna be. If it's flash players, you best believe. Flash cards are going to go sky high in price. We've seen it before with the idols. We saw it before with all the promo ones as well. If it is just flash cards, they're going to go high in price. So as usual, 4 o'clock for me is just an opportunity to make more and more MT. That's what we're going to try and do anyway. Okay, so we've got MPJ out here. Okay. What packs are they? They're going to be flash super packs, uh, which is, you know, sad. Because no one, no one wants to see flash super packs. Um, that's you, Kawhi. That's you, Kawhi. These takeovers are nice. I'm liking what I'm looking. When I look at my team right now, and everybody's got their takeover, I'm liking it. That's a bad shot. That is good defense. Anton James on the board. Up to Kawhi. I thought about popping it, but we pull that inside to Anton James, and that's another bucket. Okay, okay, okay. Now we starting to cook a little bit. Oh, you're kidding me, bruh. How will you, you, you got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. Five out pick and rolls. Dead. Couldn't be me, boys. Five out pick and rolls. Couldn't be me. It's defense. Seku doing boy, that's defense. Oh, no. That's defense. Oh, yes, there we go. We deserve that. Come on. Inside, Don O. All right, still our ball, though. And that is going to take us to half time, pretty much. Easy life. Uh, if you thought, oh, for sure, Eric, for sure. You got me locked into that offline mindset. <laughs> Alright, you jump. That's fine by me. You leave me wide open with Donald, with takeover. We gonna knock that one down. We gonna knock that one down. Uh oh. No, wait, that's Sekudun Boyer. Why am I scared of him? I'm not scared of him. 
Uh, Ricky Rubio is good. Ricky Rubio is not bad. His jump shot is still going to be hot trash. So uh, you will not see me using him, that's for sure. And you won't see me playing for him either. So that's just not going to be worth it in the slightest. Oh, Don Ola again. Oh, Don Ola again. How'd you five out of that? I don't even know. Because I don't need it. But I don't know how you do. I assume it's a play somewhere that you just spam over and over and over again. Uh, which is very dead and boring. But... Could not be me. It could be this guy, but we've taken the dub in this one. That's for sure. Um, might pick up flash players. I think that's probably a good idea. I really, really think picking up flash players right now is a good idea. Now, thankfully, I think I've got quite a few. So we should be able to make quite a bit of MT. Is he out of here? Is he out of here? No, I thought he was going to be out of here. God damn it. Oh, that's a great pass. That's a great pass. We'll take that. It's got his dead and boring. Is this a custom core? Oh, it is. It's got that horrible white around the outside. That's ugly. That's that's really, really ugly. Did I get Evan Fournier and Stephen Adams? I got Evan Fournier, uh, but I did not even try and get Stephen Adams because, you know, it was Stephen Adams and what's the point in that? And uh, again, for Ricky Rubio, am I even going to try? The answer is a big fat no. I don't think there's any real point in doing that. That's defense. Come on, I think this guy might be seeing the exit door very quickly. Dwayne Wade for three. Dwayne Wade for three. Nice little goaltender as well to rob that in. Um, takeovers are based on attributes. I mean, they are, yeah, but you can change them with uh, shoes and coaches for sure. So that's why my Kawhi's got lock takeover. And a lot of you boys are just saying that your Kawhi has got sharp takeover. 16% contested there. You trip him. Ain't no way. Ain't no way that was 16% contested. But we move. We move. We're still winning very, very comfortably in this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tell me why. Good times. Good times. People out here wasting Grinches on Kevin Love, bro. People be putting Grinches on everybody. Oh, this is too easy. This is too easy. Now, I don't think this guy's gone quick, so I can only assume he's also doing his challenges for uh, for the Pink Diamond, D'Angelo Russell. He's obviously already got his... Oh, such a bad shot. He's already got his Spider. But I don't think he's got his D-Lo just yet, because uh, these are not pretty possessions. Speaking of not pretty, that miss right there. Good basketball was good. Welcome to the stream. Probably going for D-Lo. Yeah, I, I agree, man. I agree. KPJ in the corner. KPJ with a miss. Unlucky, my guy. Unlucky, my guy. And that's a nice little green from Kawhi. Yeah, I don't think he's going to quit. So we've had to do two full games of Unlimited. But I'll tell you what, we've got two dubs, so I'm not complaining about that. If I get dubs, I don't care if they're full-ass games or what. Big up the speed boost. Big up the speed boost. Because <laughs> that now puts us 2-0 and in the diamond tier. Get wrecked, bro. That was so easy. That was so obvious. That was so obvious. 2-0 in the diamond tier. We need to get 7 wins out of our remaining 10 games. So, it's possible, boys. It's possible. We need to go on a bit of a madness, like we did last season. We definitely need to do something like that again. But we know we can do it. We've done it once. We did it last season. We've gone 12-0, which we don't even need to do this season. We've gone, we went 11-0 last season, which we don't need to do again, because the pink diamond this year... Well, this season is only 10 and oh, get wrecked, guy. Still on your full court press, but it's not really working out for you. See you later. <laughs> not really working out for you, is it, bro? Not really looking out for you. What flash cards did you pick up? Just any of them. Any of them. The XP is going to be based around using flash cards, so any of them will be eligible, and all of them will go up in price if they are eligible, and I think most of them will be. Now the speed boosting start, boys. Now the speed boosting starts. Still on that full court press, now rocking the speed boost, rocking the five out. My man's watched the 250k and thought, oh, I can just play like these guys. No. No, you can't, bro. Because you're losing by 25. I'm sorry to say, but you're losing by 25. There's Kobe, six Grinches. I can only take you so far. I can only take you so far. Is Jameson good? Jameson is a very nice man, very dependable card. Saying that as he gives away a foul, but I think he's dependable. I quite like him. And domination in general is just a huge dub. I would say if you're going to put time in something, 
I don't know, is domination better than uh, the spotlights at this point? I don't know. Jesus Christ, let me inbound the ball. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Let me inbound the basketball. Oh, it got stuck. Oh, it glitched. Oh, it didn't actually shoot the ball for me. That's cool. Ah, that's cute. Uh, D-Rob will be available tomorrow. It's going to be either tomorrow or Thursday. Tomorrow or Thursday, 100%. Because as of today, depending on how much XP gets dropped at 4 o'clock, which is in 25 minutes' time, depending on how much XP is dropped, people are going to be 5,000 5, XP away from D-Rob. They're going to be at 145k. That's mental. Uh, Ulysses, thank you for coming through. Uh, Showtime, no they don't. I can literally see you. You think Spotlight's have a dom at this point? I think for the players, or due to the fact you get so many players, but you know, the, the tokens are still huge from Domination. I think the MT is probably still better from Domination as well. But I don't know. I guess, you know, if you put in the same amount of time, you're probably getting more if you go for the Spotlights. Yeah, MT and tokens are better in domination for sure. That's what I was thinking as well. Right, Kawhi with a two. This Kawhi doo doo. I know he's not, but man, he misses a lot of open shots because of that Hoff steady, which is such a sad badge. I would really like this guy to quit, but. I think we know that's not going to happen. Spotlight is 10 times harder. That it is, man. That it is. The, the sweat in spotlights is ridiculous. Don't forget, heat check domination. You can take in five players to do XP. And you'll still win by 60. Like, spotlight or the domination is so easy. Even the heat check on Hall of Fame is an absolute breeze. You go into spotlights, you can barely take cards in on XP on Pro. And on All-Star and Superstar. And then Hall of Fame, you've got no chance. So, if you're going for it, if you want to get the level 40 as well, I think domination is probably the uh, best shout. Uh, Toxic was good. Why not play next gen? Because in my opinion, next gen is the big doo-doo. The big doo doo. Everyone feels so slow and sluggish, and players feel like they're running in the mud. Um, yeah, I don't don't really enjoy it, bro. I don't really enjoy it. So that's why I stick to my current gen. I'm on the PS5 out here on my PS5, but uh, we are on the current gen version of 2K. Right, we've got 25 minutes to go, so we're gonna get out of this game, and then we're gonna go. We've got three games of Triple Online left, so we're going to three games of Triple Threat Online, and then when packs drop. We then go into our final two games of Unlimited that we need to get for Pink Diamond. D'Angelo, look at this guy, man. Still sweating like this. Like, you're down by 30. You're down by 30. What is wrong with people? Uh, two E's, congrats, man. Enjoy him. He is a fantastic, fantastic card. Get out of here. Enjoy that air ball, bro. Oh, I can't switch my players because R1 broke. That's cool. That's cute. I love this game. Bruh. Uh, what center can you buy under 10k except for Dino and Yi? Why would you want to buy a center for 10k that isn't Dino or Yi? That's my question. Yeah, Thomas, I know a lot of people do really enjoy Next Gen more, but... For me personally, I can't. I can't see it. Uh, you know, Van Wilskill, welcome to the stream. How are we doing? We've already played one game of Unlimited today. We've already taken a nice little dub. We're out here in our second game again, about to take another nice little dub. So we're going to be two and zero on the Diamond tier, which is good because obviously by the end of this season, I'm not going for Cedric Maxwell, boys. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. We're going to get through the diamond tier, we're going to get the diamond box, which is always really, really profitable because you do get a diamond contract, you get a diamond player, that could be anybody. Um, and then, of course, we're going to try and push up to the diamond, the pink diamond Hall of Fame badge box thing. And again, I think you're guaranteed a diamond contract, which is huge. Speed boosting out here a boogie, nice. You know what, shall I tr try and see if I can speed boost? Shall I try and see if I can make this miserable for this guy? See, I don't really know how to do it. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. Get wrecked, kid. Get wrecked. Um, anyway, where was I at? <laughs> what was I saying? I can't remember. I'm just so bored of playing this game right now because we're winning by so much. Uh, Dino being really cheap. Uh, emo, I've got no idea. But I really wish you'd get off this press because I just want to be able to inbound the ball and just play this game. But apparently that is too much to ask. Um... Is Pink Diamond Lonzo good? Yeah, very good, man. 
Very, very, very good indeed. Dwayne Wade with a nice little green right right there. Got pause shoot him. I don't think I've got many pauses left, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. Oh, yeah, I was talking about getting up through the uh, the boards. Or the tiers, sorry. So the pink diamond box, you know, it doesn't get you a pink diamond, which is really dumb. Uh, it doesn't get you a pink diamond, but it does get you a diamond. It does get you a diamond contract, which right now is 30k. And it also gets you, of course, a Hoff badge. So could be something good. So by the end of this season, I want to get David Robinson. We'll get him very, very easily. I want to get D-Rob by the end of the season. Um, I want to get myself up to the Galaxy Opal tier. I don't want to win the Galaxy Opal tier. I just want to be there. Um, triple that offline. I guess we'll have to get ourselves up to uh, the 1,000 wins. Get ourselves to Galaxy Opal Pager. Fred Brown and TTO. Not fussed about him in the slightest. Dominations are already done. Spotlights. What do I want to have done by the end of this season? If we've completed one? <laughs> if we've completed one, I think I'll be good. Uh, I think in total, I've probably done 10 games. So no, wait, I've done 12 games so far, I believe. I oh, know it'll be 11 because one challenge game would have counted as a, as a weekly challenge. So I think I've done 11 games so far for the spotlights. If we can push that up to sort of like, I don't know, 30, 35, something like that. I think that'll be a, I think that'll be a good start. If we can have maybe like four spotlights done for Wes Unsold, if we can be halfway to Wes or Wes, I'd take that. I'd, I'd definitely take that. Right, we've got two minutes to go. Thank God for that. We've got twenty minutes to go until content comes around. It is going to be flash super packs, which sucks. It is going to be a Galaxy Opal glitched Juan Carlos Navarro, who is unbelievably good. It is also going to be Amethyst Mark Gasol, who is not good. Lag, hello. So we're going to be a Diamond Juan Hernan Gomez, who's not good. The Exchange is going to have a Pink Diamond Ricky Rubio. You guessed it, not that good. Uh, and the Spotlight is Ruby Jose Calderon. Uh, Thomas, yeah, I've, I've literally just explained that I am. I uh, just got a trail. Very nice hands. Very nice. John Moore, such a demon. I, I'd like to get him, but it's just too much. It's just way too much. And one fun for Don. Oh, we're about to drop a hundred out here. Uh, Turtle was good. How we doing? Welcome to the stream, boys. I hope we're having a good start to the week. Is it start to the week? Yeah, it's Tuesday. I don't know what day it is. At least we get to save some MT today. That's the good thing. It's the only good thing about VC only super packs. We save MT. We live to spend our MT another day. Tomorrow, not going to be new packs. Thursday, oh, Jesus Christ. Thursday, they could do moments cards and, again, put them in the Pantheon packs, which I really hope they don't do. I don't want more Pantheon packs to open up, man. They're so bad. They're so bad. So if they drop, you know, moments cards, hopefully they go ahead and actually put them into the heat check cards or heat check packs or, like, standalone packs. I really don't want to be opening up more of those Pantheon packs. We've opened up about 60 now and had one pink diamond. It's been bad. It's been sad, and I'm not happy about it. If not, then then Friday is gonna be uh, is gonna be the next time we open up packs. So we do have a little bit of time to not waste loads of MT, which is good and fine by me. Uh, Jason, good luck, man. Fifty picks of fireboard, bro. I ended up with thirty-two on my one, and I didn't get anything. So yeah, don't expect anything. <laughs> don't expect anything, my friend. Whoa, what the ball doing? Anton Jameson, nice little green to end the game. 99 points. How about that? And like I said, boys, that puts us 2 0 in the diamond tier. We like that. We like that a lot. Uh, you better let your mum open a few packs, bro. If I let her do it, she's going to spend the whole goddamn lot. And I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I don't really want to do that, man. <laughs> Screw that. Uh, have I ever even taken a shot with Danley? He has never seen the court. Adrian Danley got packed and has never seen the light of day. So, Adrian Danley, I'm sorry. You bought 200 flashcards? Holy shit. 200, though? Blake, my man, getting himself prepared. I mean, fair play. I'll see. I, I imagine prices have already gone up. If I can get any for 1,000, I'll buy. But I imagine with you buying 2,000, I imagine you bought most or 200. I imagine you bought most of them that are there. For a thousand. Uh, Joe, what's good? Welcome to the stream, my friend. How we doing? We've got 15 minutes until content drops today, boys. As usual, I'm more looking at XP. I'm more looking 
at uh, MT rather than uh, anything to do with the actual pack. So let's have a look. So flash one, nothing. Flash two, nothing. Flash three, these flash cards are going to be pricey. Flash three, nothing for 1500. Flash four, nothing. I wish you could just search for all flashes at once. That would make life very nice and easy. Flash five, nothing. Flash six, nothing. I think we've got flash seven. I think that's where we're at right now. Yeah, flash seven is the highest. Bought them this morning. Damn, well, you did a good, bro. So I've got 11 flash cards. I've got a Rudy Gay down here. And Rudy Gay's pushed up to 10k. I'm not mad at that. DeRozan we've had in there for ages. Ronald Murray is still just like 2, 3k. Um, Balake is still like 4k. We've got Brian Russell uh, out here for about 4k. We've got KPJ coming in. Uh 5k and then we've got Scalabrini, Nick Addison, Gerald Green, Dort and Robert Pack. So if there are XP challenges, this this is what I'm, I'm thinking boys. So last week it was promo super packs and we got ourselves promo agendas. The week before that we had idols super packs and we had idols agendas. Today it's going to be flash super packs so it's going to be flash agendas. So it's going to be something similar to this where it's you know Use flash players, flash players, blah, 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 blah. And you'll probably get a pack at the end of it, and that'll be that. And we will have ourselves 11 cards to sell as soon as challenges drop, which hopefully um, will be for quite a bit of XP. Otherwise, people aren't really going to care about it too much. Right, we've got 15 minutes to go until new packs come out. So let's jump into a few games of T T O. And then after 4 o'clock, we'll jump into two more games of Unlimited, and we'll get ourselves done... Uh, for the Pink Diamond D'Angelo Russell. And then in tonight's No Money Spent episode, we can open up Pink Diamond D'Lo, Opal Donovan, and add Pink Diamond Lonzo to the squad. Well, that sounds like a pretty good and fun episode to me. And yeah, hello, welcome to the stream. And then of course, after that, boys, we'll be live on Twitch, 8pm GMT tonight, which is 3pm Eastern Time. We might do the spotlight as well. Actually, we'll do the spotlight tonight over on Twitch, and then I think that'll be enough to get us level 37. Another day, another level. Um, and that's going to put us on, what, it's 100k? Yeah, it'll be 100k XP gang. Hey, that's fine by me, bro. That is fine by me. Uh, where will Lonzo be in my starting lineup? Honestly, I'm going to try him at starting point guard. After seeing how Splash and Ty played with him... I'm going to play him at the starting point guard. We're going to see how he goes. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to risk it in Unlimited straight off the bat. I think that's that's too risky. So I think maybe we'll just do TTO for the time being. We'll see if I like him or not. See if I like his jump shot or not. See if I like his defense or not. If he starts playing crazy good, then I'll go ahead and incorporate him into my main Unlimited lineup. But uh, I think it's worth a try. He's already got the Kobe Grinches on him. It's already going to be, he's, he's not already badged out, but he will be badged out by the end of tonight. I think it's a bit of a no-brainer just to give it a try. Just to give it a, give it a try. Uh, he bought Lonzo a range for 130. Damn. Damn. Fair play. Yeah, we'll hide our diamond contract from Pink Diamond D'Angelo Russell. If you know about a Pink Diamond D'Lo and a diamond contract, you know. Um, I'm not going to make the same mistake this year, especially when he's 30k. Or when the diamond contracts are 30 he hit that? Yeah, I'm not wasting 30k. That that pays for like three packs where mum opens them up and keeps going even when I tell her to stop because she's addicted to packs. So that'll, 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 that'll pay for three packs, which is nice. So 30k from level 37. The diamond box, which we're hopefully going to get from Unlimited, will also have another diamond contract. So that's another 30k. The pink diamond box has a diamond contract, which is another 30k. So we can make 100, 100k just from hitting level 37 and getting ourselves up the pink diamond box which is not too bad not too bad uh why is literally every car so cheap just because dark matters are in the game we've got the first two or the first four um and everybody's just expecting more and more and more to come out so people are just selling and selling and selling in preparation for more dark matter cards so the auction is just yeah it's just on the floor in it it's just absolutely on the floor uh chubbs i don't know man just whatever he's going for. I ain't no market guru. I paid four I paid fifty-five K for mine with a Kobe sixes. 
But then I had to spend like 15, 20k to badge him out. So I probably spent like 70k in total for a fully badged out with Kobe 6 Grinches, Pink Diamond, Alonzo Ball. He doesn't have a diamond contract or anything like that, but I didn't see any that were up that were fully badged and that had the Kobe 6s. So I'm happy with my purchase, man. I'm happy with it. Dark Matter's going to start snowballing now. I personally don't think we're going to see another Dark Matter until Season 6. I think they're going to try and keep them reasonably rare. I think the two that we've seen, or the four that we've seen, um, are going to be just kind of like a special for this season. Obviously, they're to do with the Age of Heroes set. We know they're the only Dark Matters that are coming in that set. And I think next season we'll see one as a, as a final reward. There might be another set along the way, of course, that locks in like a, a season-long set that locks in for a Dark Matter. And obviously, there'll be more Dark Matters in packs in Season 6. But for now, I think this is all we're going to have. Oh, look at Don. Oh, Look at Don, oh go. Look at Don, oh go. Uh, no more Dark Matters in the hero set? Exactly, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I think Lonzo will go up in price. He very well could, man, because, you know, he's goddamn incredible. All right, we've got 10 minutes to go, boys. So we'll go into... We need to play two more games of triple there. It'd be amazing if we can get both of those in uh, in these 10 minutes. Dark Matter, Giannis has to be ready to come out. I think that when Giannis was a joke yesterday, it was still... Oh, no, the Opal Giannis that came out yesterday was a joke. Still no range on a Giannis card, and we're in March? We in March, though? I think by this time last season... Not last season. I think by this time last year... Let me try and find Giannis. This time last year, we had ourselves... Oh, does this even say the badges? Oh, I hate 2KDB. It's so ugly. Not 2KDB. 2KMT Central. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. To be fair, we had one pink diamond that couldn't. The glitched one could. And that was March the 6th. So that's pretty much exactly the same time. Then we got the one in June 19th. Uh, and then he got his Opal in May 15th. His Opal June, July 24th. And his other Opal, August the 7th. So, it was it was exactly this time last year that he, we got the glitched point guard Giannis, which did have range. And that was the first Giannis to hold range. Why have you done this? Why did you do that, Don? Why did you do that? Weird. Aiden, what's good? Welcome to the stream. If Opal Steph drops, he definitely won't have Hall of Fame clamps. Oh, no, man. It wouldn't surprise me with 2K. I'll be honest. It really, really wouldn't. Oh, Don. Oh, with the snatch back of dreams. With a snatch back of dreams. Should I have saved my Hall of Fame clamps to use on a Steph Curry card? Or was it a good idea to use it on uh, on Opal Magic? Wait, this guy's got Ben Simmons out here? Why have you got Ben Simmons out here? What are you doing? What's he doing? I don't know. I don't know. Carb so good, bro. That point guard, Giannis, last year... Was so much fun. I loved using that car, man. It was brilliant. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. We ain't never going to get a, a rebound over that Kevin Love card. That's easy. That's easy. That's Kawhi. That's a make. Come on. Come on. Uh, Dame car was a bit poor yesterday. Dame was poor. Giannis was poor. Steph was an absolute embarrassment. Like... It, it, in general, it was a it was a piss poor drop. Um, such such little effort, man. There was one card that was actually new, which was Sabonis. The others were just copy and paste. They really were, and it's just sad. It's just sad that we have to accept that. Like Steph got reskinned, and he was the first week's card. He was September the fourth, literally first week of the game. He was added to the database, and they just thought, you know what? Let's just copy and paste that. And it'll be fine. And people will open packs. And they do. Low Funk was good. Welcome to the stream. Have you used D-Low? Haven't got him yet. I haven't got him yet. We're going to have him, hopefully, at the end of this stream. That's not good. That's good. That's good. We need to play two more games of Unlimited. And after this game... Kawhi in the corner. That's green. After this game, we need to play one more triple threat game. We've got seven minutes to go until XP and packs come out. And I am looking to make MT. We're not looking to spend MT. We're not looking to open up packs today. Hell no, nah, screw that. Uh, we are just looking to make MT from the agenda challenges, which are going to be dropping, which we are expecting 
the B4 flash challenges. We get on with it quite. Pick the goddamn ball up. Thank you. Are we off ball now? Oh my god, this Kawhi Leonard card is so depressing. So depressing. How many open shots? Gag, what's good? Welcome to the stream. How are we doing? Oh man. I know Kawhi is incredible, but boy, he makes it tough. Boy. This Hofstede, he makes life just, just painful. Just really goddamn painful. And apparently, Jerry Stackhouse is that is the best card out here. God damn. God damn. But Don Old's out here. Don Old is out here. Right. If you guys are just coming through, hello. Welcome to the stream. We've got 750 people out here, which is incredible. If you are looking forward to uh, the content today, sadly, I will not be doing any packs, but we will, of course, cover everything that comes out. We've got the new spotlight. We'll have a look at the new exchange. We'll have a look at TTO boards, see if they've added onto there. And, of course, we will check out the agenda for XP. If you are new, we stream out here pretty much every day, and I have a video, at least one, every single goddamn day. So if you like 2K content, this is the place to be, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe uh, and drop a like on the stream as well while you're at it. And we've got five minutes to go until content so we won't have enough time to get into another game we'll get out of this game and then we'll go ahead and uh and just chill and have a look on the auction house uh, i should get malik instead i know i sh i know i need to keep Kawhi because he is that guy and he's incredible but it just is frustrating <laughs> at ricky rubio hype oh for sure man for sure again it's just such a random player we had andrew boga as a galaxy opener we've got juan carlos navarro who's never been in 2k before it's just so random. It's just so random. So, so, so random. Should I have Roy to Kawhi? I'd probably like Roy more. I'd probably like Roy more just because of no steady. Um, but getting him is going to be the problem, man. Getting him is going to be the problem. Right. So in four minutes' time, we'll have a look what everything comes out as. Then after that, one TTO game, two unlimited games, and then we are done for all the XP agenda challenges that dropped yesterday for Donovan Mitchell and Pink Diamond D'Angelo Russell. Uh, you like the Sabonis card? Like I said, that's the only one that came out that was actually different. The other ones were all just copy and paste. So I'm just happy that at least one card was actually worth it and was actually different. Right, so over here, yeah, one game of triple online. Two games of unlimited and we get ourselves Pink Diamond D'Angelo Russell. In terms of XP, we need to play a challenge game, which we will do tonight over on Twitch. Quantum, I could buy Gerald Wallace and Lamar, I guess. I don't want to buy Jokic or James Harden. I don't think that's a good idea. They're going to be very, very expensive. Pantheon, we can buy Des Mason. I could have done this with Dale Ellis, but I couldn't be bothered. We can do this with Des Mason, I guess. Wait, I have Des Mason? I guess I have Des Mason because I've scored 23 points with him. So that's another 1,500 XP we can get. This is going to get us another 2,500 XP. And that is where we are at, and that is all we can do. So, let me just show you boys down here real quick, because you guys are you guys are the boys come through to the stream. So, I will show you guys what's happened on the account before the video. So, look at this, Kobe 6 shoe, very nice. We have bought a Lonzo ball, and uh, I could not believe how cheap he was. So, if you want to get one completely unbadged and with no shoes at all, you're going to be able to get yourself a price of about 40000 I think. Let's have a quick little check right here. Yeah, look at that, 40000 38k. Unbelievable. That's got an extra Hall of Fame badge. What's that got on it? I don't really know what he has and hasn't got at Hoff. I think that's Green Machine. I think it's got Green Machine Hall of Fame extra on that one, so not really too crazy. Um, but yeah, if you push up to sort of like, I don't know, 60k, there's a lot out here. A couple with extra Hall of Fame badges, a lot with extra gold badges. But of course, the one thing I was looking for was that Kobe 6 shoe, just like that. That's a defensive one. That is one that my one's got. So that's, damn, that's a defensive one with 59k. Shit, that's a good price. Shit, that's a good price. Hang on, 40k diamond shoe diamond contract? Damn. I might actually cop this one. And then I'll have two, but I might actually cop this one. If this has got Hot Zone Hunter and Dead Eye. Was, was that Hot Zone Hunter? No. If this has got Hot Zone Hunter and Dead Eye, then Hot Zone Hunter. Oh, you put steady on it? Why would you do this? That's disgusting. 
Why would you put steady on a card? I'll tell you what, for the fact that that's got a diamond contract, I'm going to take that. The fact that's got a diamond contract and a Kobe 6, I reckon I'm going to go ahead and make profit off of that one. So we've now got two Lonzo's. <laughs> and I've got two Lonzo's, but one of them with a diamond contract. So we'll definitely keep the one with a diamond contract, because why not? And then I'll try and flip that other one with a Kobe 6 for um, a little bit of profit. Probably next gen, probably. Probably. Be, I will be getting rid of that badge. Don't worry, boys. I will be getting rid of that badge. I'll replace it with something else. But anyway, uh, we had a quick little look at Lonzo. Bought another Lonzo. And now we've got 30 seconds to go until packs come around. And it is most likely going to be Flash Super Packs. You can place the badge? Yeah, don't worry. I will be. Ain't no way I'm keeping that on him. Ain't no way. Right. 10 seconds to go. Do not open that pack. You bought my Lonzo? Hey, I got you, Daniel. No worries, man. Good price. Good price. More than happy to buy that, man. More than happy to buy that. Right, so let's have a look. It should just be VC only Flash Super Packs with Flash 1 through 7 in it. But let's have a look. And obviously with Juan Carlos Navarro in it. And Marcus Sol and Juan Hernan Gomez. Well, they just put them in here as well. Like, what, what are they doing? Hello? 2K? There you go. Flash Super Packs. Unsurprise. I put the Dark Matters in here as well. Jesus Christ. The so Dark Matters in Flash Super Packs, even though they have absolutely no relation to flat. All of the Age of Heroes cards in here, they have no relation to it. It's all VC only, which sucks. Um, but let's have a look at the XP. The agenda is the most important thing. Thomas was good. Welcome to the stream. The agenda is the most important thing. Are we going to be able to make a lot of it MT right here? That's the plan. But yeah, Dark Matters back in packs again. Jesus Christ. Jesus. So Flash and Glitched Agenda. So 40 points with Flash 1. Tennessee's with Flash 2. 50 points with Flash 3. 23, 21 points with Flash 4. Flash 5. Flash 6. Flash 7. Glitched and Glitched. You get a Flash 5 award pack, and there are eight, uh, nine challenges at 4,000. It's exactly the same XP as last time. So, hopefully, Flash cards are going to start flying up in price just a little bit. Let's give it a, just a couple of minutes just to see what's going to happen here. If we can get, like, 5K for all of these cards, I will take it. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that because these are so common. There are now Super Packs out. And you only need them for like one game. You only need them for like one game. Uh, Fultz price? Fultz might be going up in price, man. Which is annoying. So I did invest in him a while ago, didn't I? And then I, I don't have him anymore. Which is pretty dumb. <laughs> which is pretty dumb. Nick Anderson? Hello. What are you doing up at 10k? Nine? What are you doing up at 9k? I don't know, but you can go. All right, I'll take 9k for him. We'll have a look at TTO and the, agent or the exchange as well in a second. So he's going for like nine. Uh, Reese was good. Welcome to the stream. For nothing crazy there. Uh, Max XP is now. Yeah, I know. You can be at 145k, which is mad. So 4.9 for Dort. I'm fine with that. Hurry up, servers. Oh my god. And again, 4.9 for Robert Pack. I'll take 5k for these cards. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So Robert Pack was 4.9. So 145,000 XP you can have today. That's absurd. That is absurd, bro. And we still don't even know the stats. Like, what? Uh, Nick Anderson was expensive, boy. Let's see if we can get, like, 8K for him. Hopefully we can. Right, let me show you guys the exchange where Pink Diamond Ricky Rubio should be hanging out. Here he is. And, of course, it is the usual original owner of the Ruby and of the Amethyst card, which are in packs. And those cards are now also on TTO board. So exactly the same thing that has happened through the last two weeks. And then you come down to the weekly challenge. And we should have Jose Calderon sitting here. We do. Three tokens. No restrictions. Win the game and get 10 team assists. You're playing up against this team. So bigs are really bad. Juan Carlos, not bad. And Rudy Fernandez in there. Not bad, but... Yeah, all in all, not too crazy coming out today. And there's a weekly challenge as well with 1,000 XP, so we will definitely do that because it's a no-brainer. 
So glitch players might be going on price a little bit more. I've got Dino. We've got Markel Fultz down here as well. Oh man, I invested in this guy when he was like 1k. That's sad. 7.7, say less. 7.7, say less. One of those guys has just sold, which is fine by me, but that sucks. I got rid of him because I never thought he'd go up in price. And he went up in price a lot. Rip. Dino might have gone up in price as well, actually. I'll keep my Monte Ellis, because why not? My God, there's so many of him up on the auction house right about now. No, he hasn't changed. He hasn't changed, right? After a few minutes, have we seen an increase increase in prices? We have not. We have not. So it's basically a free 3,600 XP. It's basically a free uh, 3,600 XP. Really, really easy to get. We'll be doing most of it tonight over on Twitch. 4.5K. Yeah, these, these guys ain't changing. These guys ain't changing. Uh, Raheem, he will not because you can't get him today. 5.9, 5.6. I'll take 4.9 if I can get 5k for him. Uh, Zampa, please go away with asking that. Why are they going up in price? Because you need them for the agendas. We've just had a look. All right, 4.7. That'll do. Right, see you later. Hopefully some of these guys sell. Probably overpriced Nick Anderson quite a bit, but I don't know. If they don't sell, they don't sell. And in these packs, yeah, it is everybody. And what are the odds? 9%. So you get a 9% chance... Of hitting, oh, there's a lot of amethysts. Oh, there's a lot of amethyst. Nine percent chance of hitting these dudes. I don't like those odds. I don't like those odds. Uh, Bradshaw, yeah, I still got my range investments. Is dear old, a dark matter? I mean, does he look like a dark matter to you? One k in the stream. Thank you for coming through, boys. I appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And we're just about to hit three hundred likes. So twelve people, drop a like on the stream right about now, and we'll go ahead. And hit up 300. As for Navarro, two of them have been packed so far. And we can compare them directly to our Dwayne Wade card. And it's very comparable. 32, well, it's, it's not really comparable because Navarro just is better. 32 Hoffs against 15. And then stats-wise, Dwayne Wade's got the better post-game, but irrelevant. Even with a three-point shoe on Wade, Navarro has a plus 4-3. Plus 3 to the driving dunk. Passing pretty much the same. Defense pretty much the same apart from the block. Rebounding goes to Navarro big time. And then speed a little bit going over to uh, Navarro. So it's a crazy good card. It's very rare. Two up in two minutes. Jesus Christ. It's very rare and it's probably going to be very, very expensive. Uh, let's have a look at how many Marcus Souls being pulled. One! One! One Juan Hernan Gomez. What? Vermillion. Of course I remember you, man. Welcome back. It's good to see you coming back. And yeah, man, we were, we've changed a little bit since then in terms of like our numbers around it. <laughs> we've changed a little bit in terms of our numbers. But welcome back, man. I hope you have been well and hope two, 2021 is uh, treating you well. That is a mad price. Screw that. Screw that. Okay, so somebody else sold, so that's nice. So do go ahead and sell some of your flash cards, boys. You can finesse a little bit. You know, we've got 3K, 4.5, and uh, 4.8 there. So that's not awful. We've made some MT at least. Um, but all in all, not too much to say about all of this. We'll do this all later. You know, 20 dunks were glitched, 15 threes, easy. 20 assists, easy. 40 points, 15 threes, 21 points in triple the offline. So that's literally one game. 50 points, 10 assists, and 40 points. Very, very easy. Tottery was good. Kilmar, Lucas, TBP. Welcome to the stream, boys. How are we all doing? We are going to go ahead and finish off the agendas for Pink Diamond D'Angelo Russell. We need one more game of Triple Threat Online, which we're going to get into right here, right now. And then we're going to go into two games of Unlimited, and then we are ready to roll for tonight with Galaxy Opal, Donovan Mitchell, and Pink Diamond D'Angelo Russell. And then on stream tonight, boys, on stream tonight... On Twitch, which I will put into the chat right now, twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover. We'll be doing those new flash agendas. We'll be using our new pink diamond Lonzo. And we'll be going into some unlimited as well. I don't know how many games it's going to take to get all that flash XP done. Uh, but it is going to get us up to level 37. And it is going to put us at 100k XP gang. 
Uh, D-Rob is going to be available either tomorrow or at the very latest, 100% by Thursday. So either tomorrow or when, or Thursday, which is crazy that we still don't know the stats of uh, this dude. Uh, only one Navarro up on Xbox? Jesus. Either no one's opening these packs, the odds are horrendous, or because there's so many Opals in these packs, well not Opals, there's so many Diamonds, Pink Diamonds, Opals, and the two Dark Matters in these packs. There's so many just shakes in these packs that uh, it's just kind of being watered down a little bit, but it could be a combination of all of those. Troy Dan spending $1,700 and getting one Dark Matter. I think that says a little, little certain something about the odds, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Bailey, what's good? Welcome to the stream. How are we doing, my friend? Don, oh, easy stuff inside to the rim. All of the above? Yeah. I think all of the above. <laughs> Why do I stream on YouTube and Twitch? Because I can, man. Because I enjoy it. Lonzo on Magic? I'm taking Lonzo, man, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm taking Lonzo. Magic, I've used. He wasn't incredible. Kawhi? <laughs> oh, I hate you, Kawhi. <laughs> sure, that was a bad release, but I still hate you. I still always just think, like, if that was somebody else, would they have missed it? And you just can never tell, which is the most frustrating part about it. That stupid half steady, man. That stupid half steady, all of the above as well. Yeah, I think so. Uh, do I have Donovan? I do indeed. I do indeed. Haven't unpacked him yet, though, so we will be doing that in tonight's episode. So tonight's episode will be an opal and a pink diamond, and pink diamond Lonzo being added. And we've actually got two pink diamond Lonzo is being added because I bought two of them one of them just to sell back and one of them to use in the main squad so 59k we spent on that Lonzo which is a brilliant price 59k with a diamond contract and a diamond Kobe Grinch and fully badged out with the exception of the fact that it had steady on it and not um, dead eye that's amazing so we took a huge huge dub on that one I think if I wanted to sell that back we could probably finesse 70 maybe even 75 at a push out of that, and I do think prices will maybe not crazily go high in price, but I think they will go back up in price. Kaden was good. Welcome to the stream. So City grinded late for Kawhi. Kawhi was brilliant, but it is just a, such a shame that he's got half steady. I, I despise the badge. I really, really do. Uh, it's almost like no steady on open shots. Um, no. No, Hofsteady gives you a minus 8% chance of hitting an open shot. Minus 8%. So right there, I had 8% less chance to make that shot, and I didn't make it. So, yeah, no, screw Hofsteady, man. I hate it. Uh, Josh coming through with the raid. My guy. How was your stream, man? Did you... Oh, I know you didn't open any packs, but... What were your thoughts about the players and the packs and the agendas that came through today? I think, you know... Said he isn't a problem with green shots. True. But unless you're tie and splash, you ain't greening all your shots. So I'd so rather not have it out there. Uh, another reason why she's coming for next gen. I mean, that is true. That is true. If we go, if we go over to next gen, there is no steady shooter. It turns into oh for fuck's sake, you stupid idiots. Uh, it turns into blinders, which is actually a very, very positive badge over there. It stops you getting contested from the side or something like that, doesn't it? Good stuff, Donal. Good stuff. Kawhi don't get stopped. AI get dunked on. Very nice. Uh, yeah, next gen, it's great. For sure. International set's kind of meh. Well, I agree, man. I agree. We had Galaxy Opal Andrew Bogut. And then we had Galaxy Opal Juan Carlos, who's never been in a 2K before. Like, ever. And they've decided, you know what his first ever card should be? Should probably be a Galaxy Opal, shouldn't it? <laughs> Mad. Um, Flash 1-7 Siege, you already got all of them? Very nice, man. Very nice. I'll probably have to buy a few of them, but... I think because there's so many out there and because so many people are going to be ripping these super packs, I don't think the prices are going to be too crazy. You've ran under the ball, Moses Malone. Why, why you do this? Wow, that was a bad miss. Wow, that was a bad miss. Right. Do I have an X-Gen console? I do. I'm literally playing on my PS5 right about now, my friend. Okay, so that is all Triple the Online done. We now need to play ourselves two games in My Team Unlimited. We are currently 2-0 and o on the day. 2-0 and o in the diamond tier. And we, need to, we don't need to win two more. We just need to play two more games. However, if I take two L's, it's not looking good. If we take two L's, then it's not, it's not going to be pretty, bro. I ain't going to lie. You got to get with some unsailed? I will. I will, I will, I will. If I'm just going to get one, 
out of Wes Unsailed and Brandon Roy, I'm going to get Wes Unsailed. Um, Bill, because I like current gen a lot more than next gen. We get D-Rob news? Nothing, man. Nothing. So it's 100% either going to be tomorrow or Thursday. Unless we get absolutely no XP for the next two days and they leave it till Friday, which I really hope they don't do. I really, really hope they don't do because Friday we're already going to get content. We already know there's going to be things to do on Friday. So give us something to get excited about tomorrow or Thursday. Don't put everything on Friday. So I hope they don't do that. Uh, but here we go, boys. We need those two. That's going to get us 800 XP. So we will be 700 XP away from level 37. I ain't mad at that, man. I ain't mad at that. Right, let's have a quick little check. So these cards aren't selling. That sucks. And they're not going to sell either. As for Juan Carlos, let's have a look. There's quite a few more up now. I say that. There's seven in ten minutes. Actually, it's been like 15 minutes since Pat came out. So there's seven in 15 minutes. That's not good. That's, that's really, really not impressive. Oh, get James Harden out there. Get James Harden out of there. I'm not playing with James Harden. He was only in there for my challenges earlier, boys. So we don't need him anymore. Who do I need in here? Pat Bev for just pure defense? Sure, let's bring Pat Bev in for defense. Right, 2K have just tweeted out and they've just said, flash two packs alive, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Tevin coming through again with another $2 donation. Thank you, my friend. Welcome back. Another Galaxy Opal. They just like Opals are crazy. Cards today, pretty, pretty bad. Not gonna lie. And they put Dark Matters back in there as well. And I'm putting Dark Matters in there as well. Like, oh, bruh. Uh, Gerald, what's good? Welcome to the stream. I like the look of this team right here. He's got the OG Giannis from a while ago. He's got the Kawhi. Got Jason Richardson, Wayne Embry, so it's a small ball team. That was loud, but that was Tevin. Shout out to you. Um, so we should be good on this one. Fingers crossed. We're in a diamond tier, so we need every game to count out here. We need to be playing well in every single game. We've got a great team. Really happy with it. Slightly adjusted lineup, that is for sure. We've got Don Ole and Dwayne Wade out here. With then Kawhi at the three and uh, Anton Jameson at the four, which we don't usually do. So we're definitely playing a little bit of a different lineup, a little bit of a different style, I guess. So we do need to be a little bit careful um, just about being too small out on the floor, which obviously isn't going to do us any favours. That's defence. That's no rebounds. That's what that is. It was defence, though, but just no rebounds. That's defence. That's no rebounds yet again. God damn it, man. Moses Malone, bruh. Thank you. God damn, about damn time. And I think 2K have just tweeted out again. No, Kawhi, take it inside, bro. What are you doing? Oh, they've had to retweet it out again because they've clearly spelt something wrong in the first one. That's embarrassing. That's very embarrassing from 2K, but, you know, classic 2K. How could they have typos? Really? Really? Dwayne Wade, it's from deep, but it's wide open, and that is going to be a miss. Give me that. Let's go. Have I just been pushed in midair out of bounds? <laughs> what? I'm so confused. What's just happened? Why have we all switched? Great defense. Why have you fouled? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, this game, bruh. Oh, this game. All right, solid start. And when I say solid, I mean absolutely woeful. Our offensive settings are now in. Great behind the back. We've got Dwayne Wade wide open. He was, but, you know, take ages pass to him. Dash Q. Oh, Eric, unlucky, bro. Unlucky. <laughs> it's all right. None of those challenges are bad at all, so we should be fine. Are you solid off ball? Am I just playing against CPU this game? Yes, I am, boys. Yes, I am. So, fuck this guy. We just got to play against the fucking computer the entire game. That sucks. Don Ol, please. Let's go. Okay, let's win this game, boys. Let's win this game. You know what? I'm going to press him because I can't be bothered to play against the AI, which we're going to have to do. I don't understand what's going on out here, but we're not winning just yet. <laughs> no, don't give a turnover. Thank you. I don't know if I like this small lineup. Oh, my God. I don't know if I like this small lineup with the... Wade and Don Ole out here. I'm not sure if that's a good recipe. Flipping heck. 
We are taking some awful shots. I'm just tilted because, again, we're playing up against people who just don't want to actually play this game. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Don't fucking... Jesus Christ, that was close. All right, where is he off-balling? Where is he off-balling? Right, he's just sitting in the corner. Moses Malone inside. Easy win. Easy win. Easy bucket. God, this will be an easy win, boys. Mark my words. This will be an easy win by the end of this game. And yes, I'm fully aware I'm shooting two of eight. But trust me, boys. By the end of this, it'll be easy dubs. Dwayne Wade's cold. Not ideal. And Dwayne Wade gives away a foul. Because one of the only games where I don't want to play the multiplayer mode. Online is disgusting. It's despicable. It's so awful. Um, as is being evidenced in this game right here. There's so much is just out of your control. Um, and you're basically just playing against a random, a random luck chance, luck based game every single time out on the floor. Dwayne Wade open two. Right, come on. We're green a shot. Let's just get a few stops and we back in this one. Did you get Pager? I will get Pager. I will definitely get that at some point. Oh my god. What is going on? Well, Dwayne Way being cold is not helping my life out here anyway, shape or form. But Don Ole with a very, very nice green light right there. Again, I'm telling you boys, by the end of this, it'll be easy dubs. There's absolutely no way that goes in. Thank you. By the end of this, it'll be easy dubs. And we'll be thinking like, how did we not win this game earlier? How did we not win this game easier? Great passing. Really good passing. That's another green. That's a three from Dwayne Wade. And Dwayne Wade is no longer cold, which is good. Come on. We got it, boys. We got it. We got it. What play is this? I've not seen this play before. What is this? Defense. Defense. Thank you. Don't bail him out with a foul this time. Hell no. Nah. Anton Jameson for three. That's another green. Three greens. Back to back to back. How about that, boys? And then he hits me with one as well. God damn it. But still, three greens for me in a row. That's impressive, man. I will take that. Oh, for five minutes. I just expect I can do what I do against the AI because this guy is just playing off ball. Mm, I changed my direction, but sure. Great pass. And Anton Jameson climbs a ladder to throw that one down. Uh, kind of looks like Peja. I have heard that one, man. I, I have heard that one. <laughs> and I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at that uh, comparison in the slightest. Oh, good. We speed boosting out here now. Why do I say speed boost? We speed glitching out here now, huh? Oh, we speed glitching out here, huh? Screw He's behind you. Kawhi Leonard, you are so shit! Kawhi Leonard, what is wrong with this card? <laughs> Every open shot he gets. Oh, hurts me. Hurts me, hurts me. God damn it. Fucking half steady, bro. I imagine next gen he is just unbelievably good. But current gen, he, he just depressing, bro. He just, he just did big depressing. Replace it steady. If I could, trust me, I would have done. But uh, you can't, sadly. So, yeah, it's that. So, come on, let's let's not mess about in this second quarter. Let's not mess about here. This guy is not good. We are playing dreadfully. But this guy is not good, so we should be absolutely fine. Oh, who should replace Kawhi? That's the thing, man. I don't know if I want to replace him. He's just he's just getting so frustrating. I guess Malik Seeley would be a would be a shout. Kawhi. Thank you. Kiamon. Kiamon. Kawhi moving different on next gen? Yeah, for real. I can I can understand that. I can definitely, definitely understand that. But yeah, next gen or current gen, he's just He's just disappointing. Defense from like three people. Let's go. Dwayne Wade up to Kawhi. I'm not I don't I literally I don't trust him. Literally. Oh, for fuck's sake. He wasn't even there. Why did he take so long to catch the fucking ball? Oh, good. Great, grand. I 
I swear, if you miss that shot, we got problems. Come on. Just by the glitch, Kyrie? No, there's no point, man. No point in getting Kyrie. We just picked up uh, Lonzo Ball, so we will be having Lonzo out here in the not-too-distant future, which will be a big upgrade in terms of defense over Dwayne Wade, just like that. We're too weak. Oh, thank God for that. We're too weak. And uh, it's completely my fault for putting... Oh, for fuck's sake. He presses the button once and it's just instant block. Perfect animation. That's such a bad shot. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'll see how it's going to be, 2K. I'll see how it's going to be. Give me that. Fucking hell. Okay. Oh, this is just a frustrating game. You fucking dare go back court, bro. Roll to the fucking rim, Moses Malone. What the fuck are you doing? Roll to the rim. I have just told you to do a pick and roll. And he just stands there. <laughs> Holy fuck. This game is so miserable. He's telling him to do a pick and roll and he just stands there. And he's like, well, I could. No, don't you fucking dare. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> why, why Why? do these games have to happen, man? Give me that. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Shit. Why could you not just hold on to that basketball? Ah, oh, so many questions. That's such a bad shot. Thank you. Oh, God, look who it is. It's Kawhi. Thank you, Kawhi. God damn, about time. This is rough. We'll get there. I'm telling you, by the end of this, boys, it'll be easy. Don Oh, with a great steal right there. It's Kawhi again. He's jumped, and that's green from Kawhi. Much better. Much down better. Yeah. Wouldn't have minded that one, but okay, we move. Okay, we move. Don't be an and one. Fucking stupid game, bro. Fucking stupid game. Did you hear me say don't be an and one? Because you can already tell what animation it's going to be. Before it's even happened, you know exactly how this game is going to pan out. This is why you don't play Unlimited. This is why I rarely play Unlimited and I don't want to play Unlimited. Literally ever. Because it's just depressing. So much. It's just automated and out of your control. It's fine. We will still win this game. I'm telling you, boys. We are still going to win this game. Have, have the belief. Has belief. I'll take that one with Kawhi. <sighs> Is that diamond Kawhi? It might as well be, man. But no, I've got, I've got my open one. He's got a pink diamond one from the spotlights. He's got a pink diamond one from the spotlights. Are you crazy if you actually enjoy Unlimited this year? You are crazy, Sam here. You are indeed completely and utterly crazy. Um, yeah, two packs are out, but yeah, we don't really care about that, man. We don't really care about the, uh, the spotlights being out because... Uh, the, the super packs being out because you know, we, we ain't open any of those. VC only. There's not really too much to say about it. Big up the speed boost. Big up the speed glitch into an automatic foul. Shit. Shit. How are you today? I'm all right, but, you know, unlimited be unlimited. It's not even unlimited. It's just players. It's just people abusing this game, which is just annoying and frustrating and dead to play. Dwayne Wade to the rim. Let's go, Dwayne Wade. Easy stuff. Better than the Pro 8 tween. I mean, that is true. The Pro 8 last year was just miserable, wasn't it? The Pro 8 last year was just disgusting. Defense. Come on, finally. Finally, finally, we're going to stop this one. He was wide open, but he is wide open, and that's green. Come on. We've greened a lot of shots today. We've greened a lot of shots today. Just don't give him the three. 
Don't give him a three. Hell no. Nah. How was that wide open? <sighs> Good second quarter, though. Much better second quarter. I really do think that Don Ole and Dwayne Wade is not a combination that's going to work well together. Um, having two 6-3 guards out, well, 6-3 for uh, Don, 6-4, for uh, for Dwayne Wade, it's not a good recipe. Holy shit! Why have you? Okay, yeah, it's not a good recipe. Would not recommend. I feel too weak and too small out here on the defensive end. So, yeah, I think this is going to be an experiment that is uh, short lived. As defense, and we get the rebound. Come on! Holy shit! Why do they fade? Dwayne Wade. Come on, look at these greens, boys. Tell you what, defensively it may be costing us, but offensively, my God, we are firing. We are firing on all goddamn cylinders. It's fine. Ah, use Malik. True, could do. Uh, you got Hernan Gomez on the top board. Go get it, man. Stop trying to do this cheese, man. I was just hoping some kind of badges would um, carry me there. No badges carried me there. And it was a nice bit of uh, lag as well. Arctic was good. Welcome to the stream. It's been going fine, but you know. Unlimited be unlimited. <laughs> oh my fucking god. You, just not, you did not just pass that straight into his hands. Player spacing, please kill me. Player fucking spacing, man. Player fucking spacing. Why spot up next to somebody who is standing there? Yeah, oh my god, this guy's not good. How am I not winning this game? Shit. Who have I got off the bench? I've got Dino Raja and I've got uh, Pat Bev for uh, obviously a lot more defence. But he hasn't got the height, has he? So... Oh, Chris, yeah, maybe Nick Van Exel would help this game out, but Jesus, this is brutal. I don't understand what's going wrong. I hate that you faded there. I despise the fact that you have faded there. I fucking hate this game when they fade. Because you know they're gonna you know they're gonna miss. Oh, Dylan, I'm not, man. This game is just frustrating. Like, really badly. Come on, Don, that's a good shot. I feel like you probably could have got the steal right there, but I guess don't worry about it. Why? Did I put in settings in this game or not? Oh, I didn't, so I guess it's completely my fault. Because you can never play this game without settings, because, you know, it's fucking woeful. Shit. Still down by one, man. Still down by one. He's actually shot better than us as well, which is mad. I don't know how many lead changes there's been out here, but there's been a lot. Oh, not again! Shit! <laughs> again? Oh my fucking god! Why would they stand with him wide open? I've literally just put in settings that say tight defense. What are you guys doing? That's a wide open mini. We take that with Moses Blown. Oh my god. Josh, honestly, I'm losing my mind. I am so doing my best to stay calm. Would I rather only play against Pro 8 or speed boosting a curry slide? I don't want to play either. But I guess the tween was worse. The tween was just disgusting. But that is equally disgusting. And fuck this guy for abusing it as well. God damn it. Why is everybody going to be abusing all these stupid broken mechanics, man? Why am I the only person that's not? Dwayne Wade, good shot. Okay. It's a good shot. He didn't want to take that. But he's made it. <sighs> Kamali, I try and keep my rage to a minimum. But it's just impossible. It's 
just impossible, but come on, Kawhi. Probably could have got that if I was a little bit quicker. Kawhi, what are you doing? Why are you getting blown by? Great extra pass. Come on, look at these greens, boys. I have never greened this much in a game of Unlimited in my life. Please, Kawhi. Oh, my God. Come on, Moses Malone. I've never greened this much in my life. And we're only up by four po Oh, my God. We're only up by four points somehow, some way. It's Alonzo Morning. You are not shooting that ball. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Jose, I mean, you're not wrong. There are other people who are worse. But, oh, my God, boys. We're going into the fourth quarter here. And I just don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, okay. Wide open in the corner. Wide open. I just want to make a little pass. They pass it off a defender. And it's not even my ball. Kawhi, I swear to God. Come on, Kawhi. Come on, Kawhi. <laughs> I have shot so well in this game. <laughs> I am absolutely at a loss for words for how well I feel like I've played in this game and for how we've just got nothing to show for it. That's a really bad shot. Wouldn't surprise me if it went in. I'm shooting 57 from three, which for me isn't that bad. I feel like... Oh, man. All right, Let, let's go. Uh, Cracked. I'm not going to do that, man. That's not me. That's not me. Do we start with possession? We do. We start with possession, and we're up by three. We're winning this game, boys. Come on. We're getting this dub. We're in the diamond tier. We cannot be affording to drop games, especially this early on. That's not going to work. That's a really bad shot. Why did I take that? Thought he might actually, you know, just stop. That's a really bad shot. Mm. <laughs> Why? Thank you. God damn, we should have got it the first time, but I guess I'll take it. Wide open two for Dwayne Wade. That's another green. Come on. This is ours, boys. This is ours. A five-point lead. I think that's probably our biggest lead of the game. That's a block and a board. Clear path. Let's get it. Let's get it. Much better. Much better. Uh, you've got to take out Pink Noah Harden. Now I remembered. I remembered. So we've got uh, Don O and Dwayne Wade in the squad. Ball movement. Come on. And there we go. There's a 10 point lead. I told you, boys. We, we stayed calm. Believe me. I did my very, very, very best to stay calm. Steve Nash knocked down a three because they give him loads of space, even though it's on tight defense. Makes sense. He's now gone to a press. Oh, my God. Thank you, Moses Malone. I don't know why you took so long to take the shot, but I will take it. Still up by nine. As long as we keep, yeah. Regarding it, the uh, snatchbacks. That's fine. If you want to take a three with Wayne Embry, honestly, I'm going to let you do it. Don defense? Jesus. Yeah, you can't have Don O and Dwayne Wade out here. It doesn't work. Back to a press as well. Good stuff. You just can't ever play a game of Mighty Mo Limited without getting pressed. You just can't, and it's so dead. Just like, let me inbound the fucking ball. <laughs> Real basketball is not like this. You do not get harassed when you're inbounding the ball as badly as it is in 2K. That's another green. That's another green light from three, nonetheless. That's gone over my head, but I guess it is what it is.
That's a wide open pass right there to Moses Malone. And we take that bucket with Moses Malone. Come on. Carl, I, I tried so bad to stay calm. And I just about managed, I just about managed to stay calm. Give me that. Give me that. And give me that. It was a 12 point lead. I told you boys, by the end of this, we were going to get a nice, easy dub. Oh, again? Not again. How many near misses have we had? <laughs> I've been... I've hit so many greens and this dude's just hitting everything. Who gone guard? Who gone guard? Who gone guard? Who gone guard, Anton Jameson? I'll take the open two with Anton Jameson. Right, up by 11. Come on. Uh, that guy, I completely agree. I completely agree. It is just painful. Oh, my God. Uh, Cameron, I fully enjoy both, my friend. I fully enjoy both. But I am excited to go out on Twitch tonight, of course. Twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover. How can you pass the fucking ball, man? <laughs> Shit. I hate that you've moved there. I despise that you've moved. But it's worked out for the best. Anton James with the three. Hopefully that ices the game. So against my man, full court pressing with the speed boosting and whatnot. I think we should be home and dry right about now. That's all his offense has been, has just been those snatch back threes. I'm trying my best to stop him, but you guys know that the AI do be the big dum-dums. But it is fine. Minute and a half to go. I'll buy 11. Much better. Much, much better. So we've got one more game to go after this for the pink diamond D'Angelo Russell. That's great defense, and it is my ball as well. And now we're going to take up the time on this clock. How do I get so many tokens? I've only got like a couple of hundred. I've only got a couple of hundred. Screw it. Bailed a little bit on that one. We'll be green in loads, but I'll take an early that goes in. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, we couldn't get the cheese steal. Hell no. Nah. You missed that? Oh, get wrecked. Oh, get wrecked. Um, Triple Threat is even more arcade. Right? This is just a, a, a embarrassment. This is not in any way, shape or form anything that resembles a game of basketball. But people enjoy playing and abusing the game like this, I guess. So 2K aren't going to change it anytime soon. Which is long. Dwayne Wade for three. Ice the game. Let's get it. Hold that pause as well because you've been playing like a dick. So hold that pause. And that puts us, boys, 3-0. and oh, Great defense. Great defense. 3-0 and oh in the diamond tier. Let's get it. Still need to get plenty more dubs. Kawhi for three. Naturally, Kawhi with the brick. Still need to get, you know, six more. Six more dubs. And I dropped the three as well. Jeez. <laughs> Joshua's good. Welcome to the stream. Looks like we're going to drop 100 in this one. Looks like we're about to drop 100. If we get a three right here, there's a cheeky 100 points dropped on this dude's head, which is a little bit embarrassing. And there's a green. I told you, boys, by the end, it would be easy. I kept my head. It was tie game going into the third quarter. No, it wasn't. It was a tie game going into the fourth and final quarter. And uh, we managed to make it work. We managed to get the dub. And we're going to come down here with a little cheeky hop step. We've got somebody wide open for a three. We do. Screw this guy. I missed. <laughs> Awkward. Doesn't matter. We got it. There we go. Let's have a look at the fourth quarter box score because that was very good. That was very, very good. Um, I call that keep my head. I really do, man. This game could make me go a lot worse than that. Uh, Unpack Warner News West. Um, it can do, Eric. What day is it today? It's Tuesday. What's the fourth quarter? Look at that, boys. 33 to 17. 33 to 17 in the fourth quarter. I had no turnovers. Four blocks. Two steals. Six of nine from three. Apart from that one we missed at the end. So we were six of eight from three. That's better, man. That's more like it. 3 and 0. Oh, one more game to go for Pink Diamond. D'Angelo Russell. So let's get that. Um, let me think, Eric. So what are we going to get tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Wednesday. 
I don't think we'll see any new content tomorrow. So tomorrow, I could, but I know you're going to want to use them today, aren't you? So by all means, bro, go ahead and, and unpack them. Because I know that the uh, the boys will want to see them in action on stream. All right, here we go. Am I going for Pink Diamond Rubio? Hell no. Hell no. That is not going to be a good idea, man. It's, you could play that TTO for so long. It took me four full boards to get the Amethyst Seku Demboya and the Ruby Killian Hayes when they were on the board. I'm not doing that again. Take out Wade. Good shout. Good shout. This lineup does not work. This this lineup does not work. It's too small, bro. It is way too small. I've, I've got Kevin McHale, so I guess he's got to come back into this squad somewhere. So... Jesus Christ, what, what, what is this flashing? I guess we're going to do this. Mikhail in there. And I guess we're going to try. I guess we're going to try. Don't need water today. If you don't, then I'll, I'll happily do that for a video tomorrow, my friend. I'll happily do that for tomorrow because, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting him anytime soon. And uh, we all know that badging out cards is uh, very, very pleasing. So if you do want me to put badges on them as well. Then, uh, by all means, give me the list, as you usually do. All right, we've got an opponent. And he has gone. Okay, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I mean, Lonzo could be scary, but a Diamond David Robinson? That gets a thumbs up from me, man. That gets a thumbs up from me. Uh, when am I getting John Wall? I don't think I'm ever getting John Wall. I'm going to be honest with you, Chief. I don't think I'm ever going to get that card. So, so many hours you need to put into it. And I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Um, D Rob, he does have D Rob out here, and it's not the Opal one. <laughs> it's not the Opal one, man. It's just the Diamond one. Uh, he's gone for all his uh, matchups. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this goes. If we win this, and it's a big if, we'll be 4 0 in the Diamond tier, which is amazing. And over on Twitch tonight, boys, twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover at 8 p.m. at GMT, which is 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be going back into Unlimited. So 4-0 after this, hopefully. And then we'll see where we're going to be by the end of tonight. Hopefully we can make even more progress. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure, Eric. I know he doesn't need anything, does he? Because he's already so damn good. Um, but it's always cool to like max him out and put as many badges onto a card as is physically possible. This isn't good. Oh, this is real bad. He pulls it mid, but yeah, mid possession, bro. Uh, Rubio, good Harrison. Nah, his release is not it. Ricky Rubio's releases are never good. They're always, they're always a pain. They're always a struggle. Um, and the fact you've got to play so much TTO, which again it is all just random as to whether or not you're actually going to see those cards on the boards. I don't think it's worth it, man. I really don't think it's worth it. But yeah, as you get one Navarro, we'll have a look on Twitch later on again. Uh, let's see how much he's going to be selling for. And let's see how this guy's going to be playing. Now, this D... Oh, good. Oh, good. Big up the speed boost with Lonzo Ball. First possession. He, he couldn't do one possession without speed boosting. I think that says a lot. I think that says a lot. But you've got D-Rob out here, so... Yep, good. Again, and he's got a post animation. Okie dokie. Right. Let's go play conservative. Let's go stay home. And let's go crash the glass. Let's put in my settings, I guess. Because I guess we can't play a single game without having to put settings in every time. <sighs> this game, bro. This game, bro. And why can't these all be preset in the menus before you go into a game? I don't know. It's not like they change every game. I don't know. Um, what am I currently grinding for? Unlimited, really. Trying to get the diamond box. Trying to get the pink diamond box. I'm not going for Cedric Maxwell. I don't really care about going 12-0. Um, miss. Let's go. Ball don't lie. That's such a bad yeet. But it's worked. Kawhi, let's go. Um, yeah, going 12-0. Isn't really something I'm looking for. But yeah, definitely the diamond box. You can make a lot of MT. The pink diamond box as well. You can make a lot of MT. And get a Hoff badge to go with it. Right, I think I need to put a different match up. You can shoot that if you want, bro. Do it. Do it. You ain't gonna knock that down, my guy. But we gonna knock that down. 
Shit, man, really? Pass a fucking ball. Oh, my God. Kawhi Green. Yeah, mom. Uh, no shower, gang. It's 5k from D-Rob for sure, man. 145k is the most XP you can be at right now, boys, which is unbelievable. Oh, I wonder what you're going to do. Is you going to speed boost? Oh, wow. Who would have thought, man? Pass this ball back out to Lonzo. Yeah, <laughs> I went for it. Defense, we there. Defense, we there. Come on, defense. Clap, clap, clap. Anton Jameson, offense. Clap, clap, clap. Let's go. Uh, should I put flexible on Anton? It's one of the badges that he needs to have on him, man. Absolutely. Every card on your team should have flexible release. If you can hold it, he should have it. Look at this dude, man. What an absolute joker. Let's get Kawhi. Let's get Kawhi on Lonzo. See how you do against my Kawhi with your shitty little speed boost every possession. See how you go on fair against him, man. I really don't like this play. What are we all doing here? It's a wide open three, though, from Don Oh, And I will take a wide open three into a nice little green light. Uh, Hammer, I see you, man. And Eric says, that's the plan. Oh, no. We better get lit up by a John Maud. I'm going to be packing myself. Don't leave him in the fucking corner. Holy shit. Did you guys just not see me put in settings which said no help? <laughs> And they go ahead and rotate and leave a pink diamond Ray Allen wide open in the corner. Oh, God, it hurts. Hurts me inside, man. It really does. Just don't do that, guys. That'd be great. Oh, look, a speed boost. Wow, who'd have thought? Much skill, much wow. Defense. No rebounds. Defense and rebounds. Come on. Kawhi Leonard. Screw that, Kawhi. I'm sorry. I don't trust you. I'll take Kemba Kale. Get out of here, boy. See you later. Let's go. That's nice. That's nice. We like that. We like that. Um, Reese, just play the game a lot. I don't know. Stockpile as many cards as you can for whenever challenges come out. It's probably the best advice I can give. So those two didn't sell, which sucks. But the rest of them did go ahead and sell. So that is Pink Diamond D'Angelo Russell. Hello there. So we are going to play a game of challenge on uh, Twitch later on tonight. We're going to get all of these agendas out of the way. We're easily going to get ourselves level 37. And my team unlimited now. We are 4-0 and oh, with 5 wins left with 8 games to play. So that's not too shabby. So in tonight's No Money Spent episode, boys, we are going to be opening up Galaxy Opal Donovan Mitchell. Uh, a badge pack, two league packs, Pink Diamond D'Lo. And we are going to be adding into the squad our Pink Diamond Lonzo Ball, just one of them. We're going to be fully badging them out, and we're going to be cashing in all of this MT as well, and we'll cover the prices of these new cards. And there's quite a few of them out there right about now. So that's going to do it for the first stream of the day, boys. Thank you for coming out. Two and a half hours down again. And, uh, yeah, make sure you come out to Twitch. Hopefully I will see plenty of you boys there. If not, come through to the No Money Spent. And if not, I will see you boys tomorrow. Have a great evening. See you boys later, and peace.